Hey everyone, welcome back. <laughs> Do you know what today is? It's shell tour day. I'm very excited, very excited about this. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Let me get my advent calendars ready too. Oh, sorry, I'm good. Okay, <laughs> almost dropped that. Uh, my top is adorable, thanks! I bought this from Madewell. Uh, they had a sale recently and I bought it. Very exciting. <laughs> um, anyway, I filmed four videos today, so you're gonna see me in this shirt a lot. Uh, not accepting judgment on that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're gonna do the shell tours today. You can uh, put your name in the hat now if you would like to. You can redeem that point reward like normal. If I could just ask you guys one thing, um, I know that in the past people have done things like uh, requested on behalf of other people or uh, been like, do the person above me. If, if it's okay, if you guys only enter if you actually did a build, it makes it a little bit easier for me. Um, I'm not gonna like yell at anybody who does it, but like, uh, if, if you could, if you could just enter if you did one, that would be super useful. <laughs> I would really appreciate that instead of entering on behalf of someone else. Um, I hope you understand. But anyway, we're, we're doing the shell tours. Let me actually get the build pulled up uh, so that I can show you all what we have built. Where's my face? There it is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me get the game up too. I think that's because yesterday, I streamed for 18 minutes yesterday, I'm not kidding. Um, I was really not feeling good yesterday. Uh, and I uh, streamed for literally 18 minutes. <laughs> Just so I could open my advent calendars. <laughs> and then I, I checked my like daily tasks in uh, Dreamlight Valley. I made sure that I like checked my shop. Um, but that was all that I did yesterday on stream because I didn't feel good enough to stream much longer than that. Um, but anyway, <laughs> this was the shell that we did. Um, this one was, do you know what? I didn't think that she was that bad when I made it. Like when I built the box, I was like, this will be okay. Then when I actually tried to build it, I was like, major regret, major regret. <laughs> uh, but the whole idea behind it, if you missed it, was that Logitech reached out to me and they were like, hey, bestie. Um, they didn't say that, but I'm calling them my bestie. They were like, hey, bestie, we have this idea. We want to do a shell challenge. Um, do you want to help? And I was like, yeah. So <laughs> we, we did this shell challenge with Logitech uh, for their Aurora collection, which is like, you know, these headphones that I use. And also they have like keyboard and mouse and stuff. Um, and also because they had a promotion going on on Amazon where if you bought the Aurora collection, uh, they gave you the Sims 4 Spa Day with it. You got like a code for Spa Day with the Aurora collection, which is really cool. It's such a fun idea. So we built a spa with ours, um, but we put it on the gallery. We told you guys to turn it into something. And today we're gonna tour your builds to the best of our abilities. Um, obviously a couple disclaimers, number one, um, impossible to tour everybody. <laughs> I know you all know this, but uh, there's so many more of you here than, than we could ever do in just one stream. There's already 325, 26, 27, it's jumping up uh, entries into this. Uh, so obviously we can't get through them all today. I would love to, but it's just not possible. So we're gonna pick them randomly. Um, basically there's a point reward that you can redeem in chat and you can give me your origin ID so that I can look you up on the gallery. Um, and then we'll we'll pick them randomly that way so that everybody has kind of a fair shot at it. Uh, and then we'll we'll tour them on stream. It's always really fun. Um, hopefully I can get to as many as I can, but please don't feel bad if I if I don't get a chance to see your, to see yours because um, obviously on stream it's really hard. Uh, it's just there's a lot of us, so um, bear with us. And the other thing is that Logitech gave us so many giveaway codes, so many codes. You don't understand. Logitech gave me fifty. We did 25 a couple weeks ago when we built the shell, and we have 25 more for today. <laughs> so we got 25 giveaway codes for Spa Day. Uh, so hopefully a bunch of you are gonna get a chance to play with Spa Day, um, thanks to our friends over at Logitech. So when they sent me that, I was like, 50? <laughs> they gave me a spreadsheet, you know? Um, and I click on the link thinking there'd be like 10. I opened it up, there was 50. I was like, what? <laughs> Um, so we got a bunch of giveaway codes. I have 25 left. We, we did 25 already, but we have 25 left. So 
we got a bunch of giveaway codes that we can do today, um, which will be really, really fun. Uh, and then we'll open our advent calendars. I think maybe I'll start with the advent calendar, if that's okay with you all. Shall we do that first? Um, I think that's my plan. Let's begin. <laughs> Let's begin. No, this is the good one. Let's start with the bad one first. Okay, so if you missed it, we have two advent calendars. I have one that's got, it's called the fidget toy advent calendar. I bought it because it's got these tiny stuffed animals that are like ornaments for my tree. I've got a few, you can see them on there, like the green one's a frog and stuff. Um, yesterday we got this little donkey, really adorable. The past days before that were kind of flops though. We've had a couple, I've called them ambiguous animals because it's not entirely clear to me what they're supposed to be. I think this one's maybe a bear and this one is maybe a monkey, but it's, it's really unclear. They're, they're kind of what I've called the flop. Um, so we're hoping that today will be better. <laughs> the first ones were really good. And then it's, it went kind of downhill yesterday. Yesterday was a donkey. It was better, but I'm hoping that day 10 will be better because I've, oh no, I've ruined it. Oh my God. Wait, let me fix it. But I was kind of disappointed. So I'm hoping it'll be better. Give me a cat. not a cat but I think it's a teddy bear this is the same shape as the first teddy bear but it's gray instead of brown this okay we're on the way up also they gave me two gray ones in a row but that's fine we're on the way up things are looking good now okay there is like three days in a row that were really weird <laughs> but things are getting better now so that makes me feel better okay and then the other advent calendar that I have you thought it was a hippo oh that would have been good um, the other advent calendar that I have is mini brands. The past few days have actually been really good. Um, this one was my wieners. Look. And then yesterday we got cream cheese. <laughs> so, um, the mini brands one has been really carrying, uh, so far this month, but here we go. Day 10. Are we ready? I find this one easier to open too. I think because it pulls down instead of up, it's easier. It's cool whip. It's cool whip. Oh my God. Look, 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 look. Cool whip is like, um, it's like whipped cream, but it's not cream, is it? What is it? Water, corn syrup, high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, it's like, uh, <laughs> it's whipped cream, but it's mostly oil, I think. Uh, anyway, iconic. <laughs> you buy it in the freezer section. Show me my cool whip. Anyway, I'm feeling really good about this. <laughs> you have this one, this mini brand, really? Very interesting selection of things. Wieners and cool whip, lovely. Anyway, uh, we're gonna do some tours <laughs> of your, <laughs> of your <laughs> uh, shelves today. Um, there's ads about to play, so I won't pick the first one just yet, but I'll read some subs while we wait, okay? Um, <laughs> Haley and Pooping and Don't Like to Pick Names and Katie and Hollins and Freezer and Cece, uh, Seven and Lazy and Honey and V Sheep and Antisocial and Jacob and Unknown and Sonia and Chow and Abby and Fake and Coffee and Mia and, and, uh, Girl and, and Girly and Mystical and Matt and Elle and Sim. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I didn't read any this whole time. I'm a, a mess. Crossing, <laughs> Ava, Maza, Aslan and Sacred and Egg Roll and Unapologetic and Allison and Fuzzy and Brooke and Ironic and Jola and Brooke and Amanda. That was a few Brooks. Uh, Whisper, Shame, Nessa, uh, Nerdy, and Buzzy, and Madison, and Beyonce, Beyonce, with the 62 months, um, oh I'm gonna believe it's the real Beyonce, even though I'm, I know it's not, it's Beyonce Wolves, but the real Beyonce is here today, with us today, um, <laughs> uh, and Archangel, and Mallory, and Chicky Tenders, we got Kirby with the gifted subs, Princess, and Candy, and Lynn, and Eerie, and Annabeth, and, and Popping, and Kaylee, and Yikes, and oh my gosh, we're almost there, Beck and Megan and, and Julie and Sarah and Victorio and Anxiety and Lucky and Bessie and Maya. Uh, we got Anna and Roxanne and Vic Lane and Cassie and Bethany. And that's everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we caught up. <laughs> Seals, Annie, Orange, uh, Fair and Ron and Haley. Thank you so much, everyone. Okay. Water. Now what? Um, 
Soon we're gonna pick a build. Oh, you know what we'll do? We'll do a giveaway. Let me get it set up and then I'll announce it as soon as the ads are over. That's a good place to start. Um, let me open up this giveaway, shall we? Um, and then as soon as the ads are done, we can we can do it. I like this. Um, all right, create, ah, shh, Simsy, no talking. All right, so thanks to our friends over at Logitech, we have a lot of codes <laughs> for Spa Day like a lot of codes for spa day. Um, so we have 25. I'm gonna do five right now. Um, for enter, would you type the word Logitech in the chat? That's L-O-G-I-T-E-C-H. Um, type that word Logitech in the chat to enter. Uh, this is a PC and Mac code for the Sims 4 spa day. So as long as you have spa day on your computer, um, you'll be able to play, you'll be able to enter. Um, which is pretty cool. Hope that makes sense. Um, and then I will have to bear with me because I got a oh, yes She's using her cat tree and to, to claw on good job snap um, And you'll bear with me because I have to send the DMs to people with them, but <laughs> um, Let's get started with the first build while they're announcing while while you're all entering um, And then we can we can begin. Okay. All right. So the first one is no, no <laughs> Dead serious is Goose Kingdom. I think this is Hope's first time ever doing a shell challenge. <laughs> Hope, no pressure. Oh, it won't load. Oh God. Chat. We're fine. Everything's fine. It fix itself. Oh God. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> All right, Hope says um, that this is what she thinks her gallery name is, but she doesn't actually know. That's item name, not gallery ID. Hope. No, that's not right. Hope delay. No. Let's try it. Rich and bad taste landlord. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. <laughs> uh, Hope is a good friend of mine if you all didn't know. I'm sure you do, you've seen Goose Kingdom. Um, type that word Logitech in the chat for a chance to win the Sims 4 spa day, by the way. All right, this is Hope's build. Uh, it says, not all rich sims have bad taste, but the one who owns this home certainly does. Godric is an art collector that loves the art no one else will and just a bad interior designer. <laughs> Did he just forget to add a door to the outside patio? Why is that part of the loft inaccessible? What's with the toilet on display? Anyway, <laughs> he's now seeking two tenants for the basement apartment. Newly renovated and fully furnished with a bathroom and many amenities. Rent is $4,750. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm excited about this. What do we got? 20 by 15 lot? This one is in the university world. Uh, so over here. Iconic. <laughs> um, let's go check it out, shall we? Seems accurate to me. Okay, I can't see the chat, Snap. Fully blocking the whole chat. Fully blocking the whole chat. All right, I'm gonna draw the winners while this loads. We're gonna pick five winners for The Sims 4 Spa Day. Are you all ready? Type the word Logitech in the chat. One more time, just in case you forgot. It's not case sensitive, don't worry, and everybody only gets one entry. So you can type it 20 times, you still get only one entry, but if it makes you feel better, type it again. And the first winner is going to be three, two, one. Elf Soupy. I like that. Okay, Snap, I can't access my keyboard, okay. Mods, I can't type this. <laughs> I can't, okay. She's on the control key. All right, control V. Oh, nope, didn't work. Oh my God, I'm doing a bad job. I can't, I can't. All right, right, no, 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 no. Come on, snap. There we go, I got it, sorry. The next one is going to be <laughs> uh, Therese underscore A underscore G. Therese underscore A underscore G. Um, the one after that, Carolyn underscore design. Carolyn underscore design. The one after that, Simmer Sammy with one M. Simmer Sammy, one M. Oops. Oh my God, it's so hard for me to paste these because my cat is blocking the exact keys that I need. <laughs> it's really inconvenient. I'm trying to paste them into the spreadsheet and she's like exactly on the half of my keyboard where I need to be. All right, and the last one for now, we have one more for now. Vicky underscore IDFC. Vicky underscore IDFC. All right, there we go. 
<gasps> we did it. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna whisper those to you as soon as I'm done with this, okay? Um, I'll get you all your codes. And don't worry, I have 20 more codes where that came from. Literally 20 more, we're not done. Um, we are not done. Okay, so this is Hope's build. Uh, this is what's supposed to be an apartment owned by a landlord with ban bad taste. <laughs> I'm very curious. I like the window shape and I love this like basement entrance. My shell had this weird hole in it. I think it's a really cool way to use the weird hole. Um, we have like access to the rooftop and everything, which is kind of fun. Okay, so when you first walk in, oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> the toilet in this glass box. Basically, um, in my shell also, there was like a little square that you had to keep. Hope has turned that into a uh, toilet display. Honestly, iconic. <laughs> I can't think of a better way to use it. <laughs> yeah, the basement is the apartment for $4,750, by the way. I'm sure the basement's gonna be really nice. I look forward to seeing it. Um, I love the fun colored appliances. There's lots of art on the walls. Um, I love this little corner. The red and blue accents are quite fun. Over here, we have this weird guy that we've collected. Uh, glass door into the bathroom, which is amazing. And there is a toilet in the bathroom, luckily, unlike some mansions we've seen, uh, EA. <clears throat> Talking about get famous. Upstairs, <laughs> we have a really cool lofted bedroom. I really like this. And on the patio, they have a few display pieces as well. Um, I really like this a lot. Also, that's interesting. I've not really looked that closely at this thing. I don't think I realized that it was a llama. That's, wow. Okay. And then we have a basement <laughs> apartment that is $4,750 a month. Um, so, so you come down these stairs uh, and here's your bathroom for $4,000. $750 for two tenants, by the way. Um, they have a little sink. Uh, there's a nice shower, really big open shower. As you can see, big open shower. Um, <laughs> it's such a steal. And then we got this little toilet. Um, again, what a steal. And then over here, uh, through this door, we have these two beds, um, which I kind of forget about. Are these the ones from yeah, it's from Strangerville. That's $750. Why is that 750 simoleons? It's fully furnished. <laughs> what a steal. We got this giant kitchen. Look at all that counter space. Um, there's a there's, you know, already one roommate living here. <laughs> um, <laughs> we got fully furnished uh, dining and living space. Big, big living room. Um, wow, spared no expense. Think about how much effort was put in by the landlord in designing this, this place. <laughs> what a beautiful open floor plan. Um, lots of amenities in the patio area. <laughs> Thank you, Hope. This has been really fun. You made my day, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I really enjoyed this. <laughs> I love this kind of build where you're like trying to tell a story, you know? It's just, it's fun. It's fun to build like silly things like this. Uh, so thank you, Hope. I really enjoyed it. Uh, quite the sales pitch. I'll be applying soon. I'd like to live there. Um, and a rooftop balcony, yeah. <laughs> no, the stairs to the rooftop can't be accessed and neither can one of the uh, balcony spaces in the loft, Therese, but that's okay. No one said that guy knew what he was doing, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Sorry. One second. Oh my gosh. 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 <laughs> okay. Cat cam, cat cam. Um, I'm sorry if I alarmed you by turning off my camera. Um, <laughs> I just didn't want you to see me when I was trying to move over. Okay, I have to, um... Oh, good, Alex could DM everybody. Oh, so I don't have to. Oh, thank God, okay. Um, next build, let's pick the next one. All right, the next build that we're going to do today is by Ruby Madigan. On the gallery, their name is Dynamic Tortoise. 
Let, no, let's see it. I'm ready. If the gallery is ready, I'm ready. This is Shella's last shell. Look at this. This one's not ours, but this is quite cool. <laughs> You're good at building. Ours? Oh, this one's also in the university world. What a funny coincidence. Oh, not lowercase. Whenever I try and do this, whenever I try and comment, typing cool in all lowercase feels so passive aggressive, doesn't it? Like that's mean, but in all caps, it's a nice comment. <laughs> okay, this is, um, this one, they turned their basement into a cute basement apartment. What are the chances of that? That's so funny. Okay, let's go see it. I've never seen two basement apartments in a row. I think it might be over here. Um, let's go see. Shall we? Never mind. Alex was not able to DM everyone and I have to do it. Guys, is it okay if I do the giveaway codes after I get off stream? If I DM them all to you after stream? Because normally, I, normally the mods do it while we're live, but because Twitch changed it, um, so that, uh, you can't DM people that don't follow you by default. I, I have to do it and it's really hard to do while I'm live, especially when there's 25. I think it makes more sense to do it after we get off. Is that all right? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay, so this house, they said in the story that like, this is their family house and then they turned the basement into an apartment that students in the local town can rent, um, which is kind of cool. This is really pretty. I really love the university, the university door. This is one of my favorite doors in the whole game. It's so nice. Um, in the back, they have this little patio as well. What a cute design. And then we obviously, maybe I'll start with the basement because that's like the main vibes. We have this entrance into the basement separate. So you can come down here. We have this like outdoor space that my shell included. So we're gonna see a lot of this, but they turned it into like a cool patio area. I really like this. There's like a clothesline. We've got like some garden space and everything. They even have a bike down here. Um, and then when you actually come in, there's a little hallway. Oh, cute. Oh, it's a little studio apartment. They even have a Murphy bed. I love it when my Sims can die in their homes. You know, when you can get squished by a Murphy bed, iconic. Also, this kitchen is really nice. <laughs> this is a really good vibe. I never use this swatch of the counter. I should use it more often. We've got a little bit of a, ba little bit of a bathroom back here too. This is a really, really nice story that they're telling in this apartment. Um, oh no, reading, don't worry. I turned mine into a, into a fountain. So you're fine, don't worry. You can turn it into a pool if you want. That's fine. Um, anyway, when you first walk inside of the main house, we have a little uh, dining space. I love this little table with the clutter, this little laundry nook. So this is, um, this is that weird box that I forced everyone to include. They turned the box that they had to include into a nook for the laundry and then they wrapped the stairs around it. What a good way to make it work. Cause they have this weird thing. Like what a great way to use it. The box made you very angry. Yeah, sorry. I know. <laughs> and then over here, we got a little living room. I love the built-in bookshelves and those weird bump outs. That's so smart. We also have this little hallway that takes you to the outside or into the bathroom, which is a perfect use of that space. And then upstairs, we managed to fit in, oh, the easel in that little nook, that's great. We have another bathroom and then two bedrooms. Oh, and another bathroom, oh my gosh. This is a great floor plan. I struggled with mine so much. I turned mine into a spa um, and I really struggled with how to do the floor plan because I made it medium wall height as well. So the stairs were really big and it was really tough. Oh, the kitchen, I forgot about this part. Sorry, there's a kitchen over here too. <laughs> I forgot. I got distracted. I didn't come over here. I love this backsplash. This is great. Like actually great. I'm, I'm really impressed by what you've done with the floor plan and stuff, especially because how much I struggled with it and how different what I did was. It's really fun to see like this version of it. And I love the downstairs apartment idea you both had. This it's also really funny to see the, um, the, the stark contrast in the in the stories that we're telling with the apartment. <laughs> this one's this one's really nice. Hopes was really nice too. Great amenities. <laughs> anyway, I really I really love this. This was really good. Um, 
very much enjoyed. I don't know if the cat likes it very much. Um, I think she's actively trying to not see it. I think that Snap, she's still really upset. The shell was very hard. Um, that little box in the middle, she, she found it very difficult to work around. Um, so Snap doesn't want to see it. She doesn't want to hear about it. She, um, she's rejecting the shell because of how hard it was. <laughs> I don't blame her, it was rough. Alright, the next one that we're going to do, um, oh my god, there's 680 requests. Chat, I'm so sorry. I need to go faster. I'm so sorry. Um, the next one we're going to do is Kenny329. Kenny329. Uh, and their gallery name is the same as their Twitch name. Let's take a look. Oh, sorry. This I was like, rooftop? No, this is, this is their Spark Challenge. Oh, cool! Look at their plumb up! You should be proud of yourself. This looks really good. Anyway, that's not ours. This one's ours. <laughs> that was the Sims official shell. Um, anyway, the Aurora Simsy shell. After the tragic death of their parents, something about a pond? Two creative young siblings took their inheritance and built a nice little house where they could live together. The oldest is pursuing a career in style while the youngest really enjoys painting. Oh, when the oldest finds themselves pregnant, some reorganizing is necessary, but they've made it this far. What a fun story! Okay, let's go place this. This, I believe, is in Brindleton Bay. I love the lore. The, the pond, that's unfortunate, though. May the parents rest in peace. <laughs> you made a one-star bed and breakfast with the shell. Did a lot of you guys try and do, like, bad things? Like, not that Hope's apartment was, like, you know, a bad apartment, but, like, did you, a lot of you guys try and make, like, one-star bed and breakfast type things? <laughs> All right, here's what we got with this one. Uh, the one that's shared by the kids. I love this, by the way, this part, how they have like the trellis on top of the, the open space because we had this weird basement. They tried to include it by putting like the trellis ladder and then like covering it. That's so cool. What a good way to hide this. I really, really liked that. You did a petting zoo? Oh wow, that's cool. Okay, anyway, when you actually come inside, it's all very pink. This is so cute. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. When you come inside, I love this, like the two sides that you can go to. That makes a lot of sense. Over here, we have the kitchen. I never use this. I should use it more. This looks really good. Got a little cluttered kitchen here. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? I have never, ever thought to use... Sorry, I hiccups. That's gross. <laughs> I've never thought to use these in a kitchen as like additional kitchen storage. What a good use of those. And what a fun like decorative piece. Cause it's kind of a small space. That's really smart. I should do that more when I make small kitchens. I'm, I'm gonna like take note of that. Cause those cubbies are so good for this kind of thing. You could put this, I really like that. And then back here we have a little dining room. Love the pink, so cute. And then over here we have like an office sort of nook and then the living space. This floor plan came together really nicely. It feels like it all flows really well. Um, and then over here, we have this little living room. I love the kit stuff that you used. This coffee table with those little decor items looks so cute. Also, I have never ever used this, this table. I really like that. I should use that more because that looks really good in there. Back here, we have a little pink bathroom. And then upstairs, we've got, oh my gosh, they've got like a playroom set up for the baby. So cute! And the baby has their little nursery right here, and they even decorated the nursery to have like stuff for the baby. Over here, this is the younger sibling's room. They're the one who likes art. So they've got all this cute stuff. Do you know what? I have never ever found a use for these. I always want to use them, but I've never found a use for them. That looks so good. The way that you've like put the bed on a platform and then put the lights around it. That is so good. I've, I'm like, I'm taking notes on that too. Cause I really like that. And then we have another bathroom upstairs in the hallway. Um, smart to have the bathtub cause the baby's going to be up here. <laughs> These canopies are from the wedding pack. No, it's not. <laughs> It's from high school years. Sorry, there's a canopy thing from the wedding pack too. These are the ones from high school years. Sorry, that's embarrassing. I didn't say the wrong name. You did. What? What do you mean? I was right the whole time. 
Anyway, <laughs> and then uh, downstairs, down here, I assume that they've moved like the parent into the basement just to give the kids more space in the main house. This makes so much sense and it's so cozy. Look at their big desk. I love this. They're like a fashion designer, they said. What a fun idea. I love the layered rugs that you did too. I think that looks really cool. No, there's not stairs. It's like the cool trellis ladder. This is the trellis ladder from, um, or this is the trellis ladder from high school years. Isn't that cool? I really like that. It, they made it like blend in so well. I feel like it makes so much sense. Um, I, I love that. I love this. What a cool idea. All right, I'm gonna try and move on so I don't miss anything. Thank you all for the subs and stuff, by the way. I really, really appreciate it. Um, the next one that we're going to do is from C Green Boy. C Green Boy. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh, karaoke! So fun! Oops, not lowercase, sorry. <laughs> uh, the next one is by C Green Boy, and this is, um, is a karaoke bar. That's so fun. And this is the show is hard. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and it's in Malcolm Revy. So cool. All right, let's go this way. I love community lots and I don't really, oh, what lot size was it? Oops. This might be too small. I might've picked the wrong one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I did pick the wrong lot. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> Let's try over here instead. Yeah, you can make the outside into a pool if you want. The basement thingy. I, that's what I did with mine too. Um, let's place this down. Oh, your birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday. That's fun. My cat looks unamused. Yeah, we were joking about how she's angry about the shell. She's angry um, that the shell was hard. So she's not interacting with us. I'm so excited. I am so excited about this. Look at how they've done the basement with the lights strung across it. They made like the, the built-in planter there and stuff. There's like the benches. They made these benches like built into the planter. This makes it look so intentional. I feel like all of you have done this in such a way that it feels like it was on purpose. This is the problem with my stupid shell, right? My shell is so hard to work with that it's really cool when people can take the shell and make it seem like they did it this way on purpose, like how they wanted to have the basement access. It just, it's really cool. Over here we have some vending machines and a trash can. Um, there's a little bit of seating and a bar out here. I love this so much. Like the signage that they've used. Um, and then when you actually come inside, it looks like you can check in right here uh, at this front desk. And then you can come this way. There's a, there's a bathroom right here that everybody can access. And then they decorated each of the karaoke rooms differently. So we have this little pink one over here. I love the pink and blue based on this. Over here we have this one with like kind of a fun carpet and like I'm gonna call it the Animal Crossing one because it has the Animal Crossing uh, wallpaper in my opinion, but that's just me. Uh, we have this one that's more red and black. <laughs> this is so fun, so fun. There's even an extra bar in this one, which is kind of cool. And then upstairs we have this one that's more like uh, pink, yellow, and blue. I guess probably based on this sort of vibe. Um, we got this pink and gray. Look at that on the wall. Oh my gosh. And then we have this one. Look at how fun that is. Oh, I'm having so much fun with this today. And then downstairs in the basement, we have like more of a, like the big set, like the big karaoke thingy. Um, in like a more, I don't know, this is more like public, I feel like, than the private ones they have up there. This is such a fun idea. I always forget about the karaoke bars. I feel like I don't really use them enough, but it's such a fun lot to bring your Sims to. Um, that is a really, really cool idea. That was by C Green Boy on the gallery. Um, I wanna try and get through a few more. I'm trying, I don't mean to be fast, but I'm trying to be a little fast so we can see as many as possible. <laughs> 
<laughs> I hope that's okay. And while I'm picking the next one, I want to open up another giveaway actually, because I've got 20 more codes from Logitech uh, for spa day. Um, so if you guys would like to enter, you can type the word spa in the chat for a chance to win spa day for PC and Mac. Type that word spa in the chat for a chance to win spa day um, for, for your computer. If you got Sims on your computer, it'll work. No matter where in the world you are, it will work. Um, and the next one that we're going to do is going to be Lindsay XO. Lindsay XO. And their gallery name is No Remorse 16. No, oops, 16. No Remorse 16. Um, let's go check it out. I'm gonna pull five winners, by the way. <gasps> oh my gosh, what? <laughs> this is so cool. I feel like they've probably placed the shell a few times. No way. No way. All right, this is a 50 by 40 lot. It looks like up in uh, the mansions section of Del Sol Valley. Oh my goodness. Have you, was that your comment, Tiffany? You commented on that. That's so funny. Um, let's go to Del Sol Valley so we can see this. Uh, and type that word spa in the chat for a chance to win. Isn't that the 50 by 40 lot? I forget which one. Oh, well, let's find out. Well, let me get rid of Judy. Hang on. Go away. Let's try again. <laughs> oh, Snap likes this one. She turned around. <laughs> Let's go see it. This is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. I'll give you guys like uh, 20 more seconds or so to enter. Type that word spa in the chat for a chance to win um, the Sims 4 spa day. And then once this loads in, I'll, I'll pick the winners if that's okay with you. Um, type that word spa. Just gotta do it one time. Don't worry. As long as you type it once, you'll be entered. Everybody just gets one entry per person. And we got... 20 more codes, so don't worry. <laughs> uh, the first winner in three, two, one is gonna be Anna underscore rebels. Anna underscore rebels. The next winner, Caitlin K005. Congratulations, my friend. Next, we got Kashi SD. Kashi SD. Congratulations, my friend. Then we got Sid, not Sydney. Sid, not Sydney. And last, Remy, oh my. Remy, oh my. I'm gonna send you all the codes after I get off stream, if that's okay. Um, so that way I can actually do it without getting too distracted because I gotta do it myself nowadays. Oh my God. Okay, I put it on the wrong lot. So that's my bad. It's supposed to be, this is the front, but. Okay. Chat, we gotta, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> what? Okay, so you can tell they've placed the shell three times. Um, and they've connected them all, and they're calling it like a multi-generational family home. Um, in the front, they've done a ridiculous amount of landscaping. They even placed like all of these individually to make like an interesting texture on the walls. Look at the lights around this tree. Oh, this is so cool. We've seen so many cool ones today. Okay, so let's kind of look around at the outside first, maybe. Um, so on the outside, it looks like when you come over here, they turned one of those basements into a pool or maybe all of the basements into a pool. Oh, just two of the basements are pools and this one is like a custom staircase. No way. All right, we'll get to that. Um, but back here, we have like a big, I guess like shared patio. Um, for, for everyone, there's a bunch of like lounge chairs and bars and stuff, giant pool. We kind of hid a little uh, hot tub right here. The color schemes that they've used, I really like this. I've never ever seen this color scheme in The Sims before. Like people do like a pink, blue and like wood colored uh, thing. This looks really cool. There's so many things that I kind of forgot we had. Like there's some of the new stuff from the high school pack that looks so good. This is from No Remorse 16 on the gallery, by the way. It is kind of like a Barbie dream house a little. Yeah, in like the best way. Okay, so let's look in the first house. Um, we'll call this one the first house, I guess. <laughs> We've got a little bit of an entryway and then you come into this main living room. 
Oh, they made a fake addition to it. Cause this is, this is my weird bump outs. They used half walls to make like a fake extra part of the room to make it bigger, but without cheating. That's so smart. Um, that's why the lighting is kind of weird, weird because it's like extra space. And then over here, we've got a little dining space. Oh, like a little dining nook built in banquette seating underneath the stairs. I'm so happy right now. And then we have the kitchen over here. We got like a built-in fridge and then we have all the cabinetry for the uh, the like rest of the kitchen over here. We hit a little bathroom back here. They have like a platform for the, the tub. In the basement, we've managed to put an extra bathroom, some laundry and another bedroom. Oh my God. And then upstairs, upstairs we've got, it looks like here's where the connection kind of happens. So we have the staircase here and then you can get over in this area to two more bedrooms and two more ensuite bathrooms. And then the rest of the buildings are all connected from the second floor so that you can get around. What the heck? Um, okay, okay, let's go to this one next. So over here, you enter from this side, you walk into the living room again. So much clutter. I can't believe how detailed this is. I'm like, I'm gonna miss things because I'm trying to make sure I get through everybody. Um, but we've got like this built in around the TV over here. You come this way, we've got like these cool layered rugs, a little dining table. We got this awesome kitchen. I like how they all have a different floor plan too. They did the shell three times, basically. Um, kitchen over here. I love the stacked stairs that they've done, this little bathroom. In the basement, we have a gym. And this is also like a big uh, platform entrance into the gym separately. So they have the gym there and then we have a little laundry space as well. That's so cool. And then upstairs, we've got, it looks like, Oh my God, look at the collection they have of all their things on display. They made like a custom display cabinet. These are that, this is that wainscoting. They made a display cabinet with the wainscoting and put shelves in it. Oh my God. And then we have a walk-in closet, also all customized and cluttered. We got this bedroom. They have a balcony overlooking the pool. I'm shocked. <laughs> and then, okay, so you can get back over. Remember we were over here before? This is that first house. You come back this way into the next house. Uh, this one has another like totally different vibe on the outside. They all kind of have different vibes on the outside. Uh, but this one, it looks like the front door is right here. You walk into a little living room. I love the color scheme so much. Uh, over here, we have a little dining room. I guess big dining room, I should say. It's big table. We have this huge open kitchen. They've done this cool like open uh, like shelving. Oh, it's not open, it's a mirror. Oh my God, it's a mirror. There's a mirrored backsplash. <laughs> I thought it was open, it's not. It's, uh, I, it's a reflection. Uh, they have this cool mirrored backsplash with the shelving again. I love the pink fridge or fridge, stove and oven. And then we have that really cool stacked like staircase thing again. Down here we have another bedroom. And then we have that, they have a bathroom and then upstairs there's another bedroom. Is that like, oh my God, this bedroom has like a private living room off of it. And it also has like this little closet with all this clutter. Are you joking? And there's a rooftop. <laughs> they have like a rooftop bar. Oh, the other house had a rooftop too. I didn't even realize. Oh my God, this is so, yeah, little closet, it's giant. This is so cool. This build, this is the, um, let me load it up again so I can show you. This is the Aurora Multifamily Home uh, by No Remorse 16 on the gallery. Worth 535,000 simoleons, by the way. Think about how long this must have taken. There's probably so much that I missed and like didn't show you. Also ads are about to play, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, there's probably so much that I missed and didn't even get to show you. That's so cool. I love how, I don't know like who they're imagining living in each house, but I love the idea of it being like multi-generational. So we have like the parents, the grandparents, the kids are living here, they have kids. You know, I just, I really, really, really like that about it. Um, we've seen so many different builds today. <laughs> Uh, thank you all so much for all the subs and stuff, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, I know that ads are about to play, so I'm gonna try and read some. 
uh, Nia and Sleepy and Laura and Corinne and Sheld and Shayla and Nicole and Christian or Christina, thank you for the subs. Oddity with the five gifted subs. Uh, Sheep and Armadillo and Zoe and Elin and Barbie and Ham and Silver and Kate. Uh, Allie and Lunar and Kaya and, and Kat and Kels and Hannah, thank you all for the subs and stuff too. Um, wish you'd finish in time. Oh, Raven, I know. You still have time to finish it if you want to try and work on it tonight, maybe. No worries. Um, type the wrong origin ID. Oh no, Olivia, type your right one in chat right now because then when I, um, if I, well, if I pick your name, I'll be able to look in your chat history and find the right one. Don't worry. Okay. Uh, I got the next one ready. I'll check it in like a minute once these ads finish playing. Um, don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Oh, let me drink some more water. I'm really excited right now. Uh, Yax, I'm gonna tour as many as I can. <laughs> I'm gonna tour as many as I can today. Uh, but some of these are, are very large and I'm not being very fast. <laughs> Uh, there's so many to see, so I'm gonna get through as many as we can, but just so you know, there's been 757 requests, um, minus the ones we already toured, uh, so there's a lot, and there's no way that I can get through them all. Even if I tried, I can't. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm really doing my best. Loveliest and Colton and many and help inspiration and bubonic, thank you for the subs. Okay. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna go over and say hello to, the next one we're gonna do is Paulini on Twitch, and their name is Pauline Neve Walsh on the gallery. Um, let me grab that, and just so you all know, I'm grabbing these randomly. Um, oh. Is that not their gallery name? Because it won't let me type all that. I can't put the H. Uh-oh. Paulini, is this right? Oh no! Um. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Well, okay. Let's let's come back to that if we can get their right one because I'm out of characters. Sometimes people tell me their wrong uh, username, so <laughs> um, I don't know. There's supposed to be an H at the end, but it won't let me type it. So I'll, Paulini, if you see that, let me know, and we'll, uh, we'll do yours next. And we'll instead do, the next one is going to be Asher Moon. Asher Moon. Um, yeah, I was gonna say that we're doing them randomly based on people who, uh, submit the point redemptions. Um, so I'm not pulling it out of chat, just from the point redemptions. Oh, they do a lot of cool room builds. That's kind of fun. Um, they have these colorful apartments. Let's take a look at this, shall we? That's what I posted on YouTube today. <laughs> Colorful apartments. <laughs> um, one, apartment one is more for your single sim, and the second floor is more for two or three's household. Oh, cute! Oh, they made two different apartments! Oh, I love that. Okay, let's go see. Let's go see. Uh, Willow Creek, I'll place it over here. Shall we? Let's go take a look. What are point redemptions? If you press the little egg in chat, you'll see the thingy so that you can redeem it. It costs less than 100 points to redeem and then I reject, uh, I reject them. Um, if I, uh, <laughs> if I, at the end, I mean, if I don't get to yours. So it's just that way I can keep a list of everybody. So redeem it with the points to enter because that way it stays in a list that I can keep. Um, okay, let's take a look at these apartments. Should we start with the second floor? Because we're up here. I like how they've put so much fun gameplay stuff in the backyard. That's pretty cool. Um, so up here, this entrance is for like the family, uh, the family apartments. Um, and so we have up here like a little patio and then we have this little kitchen dining area. So cute, so cute. And then back here we have one little pink kid's room. Oh no, the snap cam's not frozen. She's just sleeping very peacefully. You can see her breathing. <laughs> And then we have this purple bedroom. I've never used this bed, if I'm being honest. I don't even remember that swatch. I don't think I knew we had this swatch either. Oh my gosh, there's so many good swatches on this thing. I need to use this more. I'm like, take note of that so I use it next time. That's so nice. I love the purple in here. That's so fun. So we have this like upstairs apartment and then downstairs, it looks like this is a separate apartment. Um, 
we have this separate apartment down here. So in here we have like a little bedroom. We've got the main kitchen, very big space, huge island. We got a little dining room, living room, and another bathroom over here. Um, and then downstairs, oh cool! Downstairs is like a storage room. I wonder if this is shared between like all the tenants. Cause they've like even stacked up some of the stuff. What a fun idea. And they have a bunch of storage down here in the, in the like open basement area. I love that. I think that makes so much sense as well. It seems like this basement idea has encouraged a lot of people to, um, to go for, for like an apartment vibe. Um, and how they have like, uh, like the shared laundry and stuff. I really like that. What a cool concept. The basement has been like a fun addition to the shell because it makes people do a lot of really interesting things. Um, okay, I don't mean to move too fast, but I want to get through as many as possible. So <laughs> I'm going to go to the next one. Um, the next one is going to be Becky Amber and their gallery is Becky Amber 94. You're making me want to build like an apartment building. Chat. Maybe this week we can try and do something like that. I was going to build next Thursday. Should we make custom apartments? I think we should. <laughs> I think we should. Um, oh, cool, they did more than one. Okay, so we have this base game version, the Oaks base game home, but they also built this Mount Comerubby family home with the shell. They did it twice. Which one should we look at? Should we look at this one? Let's go look at this one, I think. Um, this is a 30 by 20 lot in Mount Comerubby. You also made flats, did you? That's so fun, a lot of us made apartments then. Um, all right, let's come over here. Come along, I would like to see. <laughs> you made a little gym? Oh yeah, I remember you said that. Um, that's pretty fun. <laughs> all right, here we are. Oops, if it would load. You made hot springs? Oh, cool! Made the basement a home office? What a fun idea. Um, okay, so we have, by the way, the first of our three P's, ponds. <laughs> we, this is our first pond we've seen today. We've seen pools, we haven't seen any ponds, which is quite fun. So this is the front of the house. There's a bunch of really pretty lights everywhere, which is so cute. Uh, they turned the, the weird empty hole in my ground. Uh, into like an entrance into the basement, it looks like. And there's windows into the pool. So fun, we'll come back to that. Uh, let's go into the front door first. So when you first walk in, they also, it looks like, made the staircase wrap around my weird little bump out, which is really smart of them. <laughs> I tried to do that, but I was using medium walls, so it was too big and it didn't work. Um, anyway, over here we have a little dining space. We got the kitchen in the back. It feels like this, my little stupid square has made it really, I don't know, it like separated everything nicely, I feel like. Um, oh, is there's medium wall height too? Um, well, so it sounds like it's a me problem because it was fine when they did it. <laughs> it was fine for them. Okay, well, <laughs> they've got a platform though. They're, they have a slight platform, in my defense. Over here we got living room. <laughs> uh, we've got a little bathroom down here, and then upstairs, it looks like we split it up. Oh my gosh, into three bedrooms. That's a great use of the space. We got a bathroom right here, and then like three bedrooms. We got this uh, primary bedroom, it looks like. We got this little kid's bedroom, and then we also have this little kid's bedroom. I love the lofted bed. That's so fun. Um, okay, and then the basement, which we, we saw, uh, tur they turned it into like a movie room, uh, office hangout space almost it looks like, because they have like the kids crafts and stuff. What a good use of this. They kind of made it into a useful patio area as well. I think this is so cool. I feel like the weird basement was really a fun idea. It definitely caused us all a lot of pain. Um, but I think that adding the weird basement was kind of a fun concept because it, it made us all try something like that we would normally never add, you know? Um, so I like that a lot. I think that's really cool. I'm glad that we did that. This is really good. Like genuinely really good. I'm extremely impressed. All right, let's go look at the next one, shall we? Um, 
Okay, the next one is going to be Meg's tour. Speaking of tour, let's tour yours. <laughs> Meg's tour, let's go take a look. Um, <laughs> come on, let's tour Meg's tour. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Aurora Simsy Shell, what do we got? Oh, it's a modern style home and it's just base game and get together. That's fun. Oh, not all lowercase, okay. Getting so many ideas while I avoid my finals. Nice! <laughs> As you should. All right, 40 by 30 lot in Windenburg. Let's go see. Uh, Tori, we did 10 of the 25 codes that we have. So we still have a bunch more. <laughs> we are not done yet. We have a bunch, a bunch left to do, luckily. Um, oh my god, stuff is being so funny. So cute. Yeah, there's still a lot of spa days to be had. <laughs> okay, so here is this build. What a fun little use of the, oh my gosh. I love this. These windows look really cool there. And like the rooftop balcony they did. I also really like that they use this wall. I always have a hard time using this. I feel like it leans a little bit green, but this swatch, I guess I kind of, what swatch is that? Oh, that one. I always just assumed that I didn't like any of the swatches. I like this color. Maybe I can use that wall. That looks really good. I like this stone accent on the roof, kind of like matching the walls too. Anyway, sorry. Um, they turned the like little hole in the ground into a pool as well, which is what I did with my spa, um, which is kind of fun. And so they have this nice backyard with well, back patio with like some nice living space. They also put so many fireflies. These are all like VFX for fireflies. So in game at night, there'll be like little firefly accents. Um, yeah, that's the thing, Sage. It looks like way nicer in place than the swatch actually looks, I feel like. You know, this looks like orange. It looks way better than the swatch implies, you know? Anyway, sorry, distracted. I love these little plants by the door. <laughs> that's so cute. Uh, when you first come into the house, oh, what a nice open, open floor plan. Um, when you first walk in, it looks like we've got a nice big dining table over here. So pretty. I love the round table. I also, sorry, <laughs> I'm yawning. Um, I also didn't, I don't think I realized that this base game table had the same wood tone as that chair that Harry made. That looks really good together. I need to keep that in mind as well. We got a little seating area, reading nook. We got this little kitchen. I love the clutter. We have this little living room right here. What a good way to divide everything up, you know? And then in here, it looks like they turned my little tiny square into storage. And they also hid some gold bars. Iconic. Uh, <laughs> they pushed the fridge back a little bit into another one of those cubes, make it look a little bit built in. Um, and then upstairs, uh, we've got this few bedrooms. Also, Sloan, yeah, just type your, if you typed your origin ID wrong, just type it right in the chat now, because then when I check your chat history, if I, if your name gets pulled, I'll see it in your chat history and I can, I'll know the right one. So it's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, you can't like edit the point redemption that you did, but you can just tell me the right one. And then when I check up your chat history, I'll be able to see the right one. So, um, it's all good. It's all good. Okay, so up here we have a couple bedrooms. It looks like we've got a little blue one right here um, and they have a private balcony. And then we have a little toddler bedroom, which is so cute. It's got full of toys and everything. And then this little bathroom right here as well. Super nice. Super, super, super fancy in here. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I wanna see if I can get through as many as we can. Thank you, Meg, I loved it. Um, also, just to clarify, I'm not picking names out of the chat. We're picking names out of the point redemptions. But if you happen to spell your name wrong, you can tell me in chat because then I'll see it in your chat history if I pick your name. Okay, the next one is Joanna Dreamer. And they did a spa! Oh, cool! Okay, let's go see it. Joanna Dreamer. I am curious to see. I also built a spa, so I love to see this. Um. Oh my god, what is she doing with her foot? <laughs> so cute! Wait, look. Oh, that's so adorable. <laughs> okay, this is the spa that they built. Oops. This is the spa that they built. This is so fun. I love the color scheme. Not lowercase. 
all caps, 30 by 20 lot. Uh, it looks like in, interestingly enough, uh, in Magnolia Promenade. Okay. Let's take a look, shall we? Yeah, JDS, the Xbox builds are on the same gallery as the PlayStation builds. It's all in one place, so we can see them. We, may, we very well could have looked at people's Xbox builds already. I don't know what platform they have, but it's all in one. I don't have to look at Xbox builds separately, basically, because they're all together. Um, they did a lot of cool terrain manipulation, by the way. That's so fun. I never bother with that, <laughs> as I'm sure you all know. Okay, it looks like the main entrance to the spa is downstairs. So you walk up and you come down the stairs to get into the main floor. That is so cool. I love like really embracing the, the basement, you know? Um, so you have this little walkway and they kind of surrounded it with the plants and, and the terrain and stuff. And then you come down here into this little like plant hall almost basically. Um, they have a pool that's also a fountain. And then this is like the lobby. Oh my God, what a smart way to do this. I should have done this. So in this lobby area, you walk in, you can check in. There's like a little chair to sit. You can buy some food or some face masks and stuff. We got the bathrooms. Your Sims will come here and they'll change. First thing, which actually makes sense for the gameplay. I put mine upstairs, which is stupid, but they'll actually use that locker to put on their robe when they first get here. Um, and then they go upstairs and the main spa stuff starts happening. So over here, we've got a little bathroom with a shower and everything um, on both sides. Oh, that's a fun way to use this weird nooks that I added. We got the showers here. We got a little yoga set up over here. There's drinks. Um, we have the sauna over here. And then upstairs, upstairs, there's some more of the massage rooms. I like how they separated these too. That makes a lot of sense. We, you can get your like nails done and your hand and foot massages and then you can get like your full body massage in a more private area. And there's some more lockers up here when you come up the stairs. This is a really good layout. I feel like it makes a lot of sense. Like the come in down here, go up, like it, like, I don't know. And it like becomes more and more private as you get upstairs. Like the, this is very public, like yoga classes. And then up here, there's like some more private areas further up. It just, that makes a lot of sense. Um, no, you wouldn't realize it's a shell. It looks like it's done on purpose. I really like the color scheme too with the white and the blue. That's just really cool. This is really cool. I'm so excited. I love Sims builds. <laughs> um, well, while we're sat here looking at this, I've got 15 more codes for spa day. Now's probably a good time to do another one, yeah? Um, let's type the word Logitech again because Logitech and the Aurora Collection is sponsoring today's stream. Um, so <laughs> they gave us a bunch of codes for Spa Day. These are PC and Mac codes for The Sims 4 Spa Day. Uh, you can type that word Logitech in the chat for a chance to enter to win. I'm gonna enter and I'll draw five more winners. Um, that'll be really fun. Okay, and then we can pick the next one while we're at it. Shall we? Okay, there's currently 806 requests, so there's no way I can get through them all. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. Uh, the next one that we're going to do is Mystical Wolf. Ooh, I like that. That is very, very cute. Okay, Mystical Wolf is the next one. Um, let's see what they've got for us. Hopefully something fun. <laughs> it's so cool how many of you did this, Shell. It's really fun. Oh my gosh! With this shell, I decided to create a new save filling all empty lots with shell challenges. What a fun idea! And they made an old man and his cat for your family to start the save, and he's your tester. Um, and they made some apartments. Oh wow! This is a marketplace lot type. What a cool idea! I also love the idea of making a save to fill with shell challenges and like doing each build as a new shell each time that you do it. Um, I really like that concept. Okay, let's go place this down. This is a 30 by 20 lot. Uh, oh, it's the same lot as last time. That's funny. Um, let's go take a look at it, shall we? I'm curious to see, but that's a cool idea. Anyway, we're doing a giveaway right now. Type that word Logitech in the chat for a chance to win The Sims 4 Spa Day. Oh no. Oh God. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Sims. 
We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. That was really weird. I'm gonna save really fast. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna really quickly draw the winners here and then we'll, um, we'll do this. Okay, so we're gonna pick five winners. Type that word Logitech for a chance to enter, by the way. Uh, and we'll draw five winners of The Sims 4 Spa Day. The first one is gonna be Heather Gray 11. Heather Gray 11. You, my friend, are getting a copy of The Sims 4 Spa Day. Then we got Fresh Baked. Fresh with no E. Fresh Baked. <laughs> uh, after that, we got Sarazard. Sarazard. S A R I Zard. Sarazard. Uh, congratulations. Fourth, we got Geelstone. Congratulations, my friends. And fifth and final for now, we got Vic Spears. Vic Spears, whose profile picture is a little tiny dog. Very fun. I'm gonna whisper you all the codes after I get off stream, if that's okay. <laughs> uh, just just uh, so that way we can make sure everybody gets them, but I don't need to be uh, doing it now because uh, ever since mods or since Twitch changed it so the mods can't do it as easily, it's really difficult. Basically, you have to be following someone to be whispered by default now and it makes it very hard for us to have the mods send the code. So I'll do it when I get offline, but um, I hope you all enjoy the pack. So fun, so fun. Uh, and here's our marketplace. Okay, so this is like one of the Marcus marketplace lots uh, from Eco Lifestyle. So it's got like the marketplace thingy, so you can come here and like sell your stuff, which is really fun. Um, so we've got like all these tables and there's some food stalls and things. They put like all the like stall market stalls from all the various packs. So we have like the flower one, there's a grocery one. Um, which one is this? Oh, that's, that's also a grocery shop. Okay, cool. Uh, we have the eco lifestyle food one. There's a fish one. So you kind of have like farmer's market vibes. We even have like the strangerville one and then like a fruit juice one. Um, there's a place for people to play music here and there's some seats and some tables. Really good use of the outdoor space um, with all the stalls. And then over here, uh, it looks like we've got some more seating and like some grills and stuff. Um, you can go through this fence. They hid the dumpsters back here so that they're not like perfectly on display, which also makes sense. Um, and it looks like you can come into the lot from over here. This is that marketplace board from Eco Lifestyle. And then when you come in, um, over here you can access like a community garden area. Did they make like a custom... These frog fountains spit. They built a custom fountain with the frogs and all those little pieces. That's so cute. There's a chess table. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, their name is Mystical Wolf with a Q instead of a C, by the way. Uh, and then when you actually walk inside, oh, look at all this. This is, um, is this like the self tanning thing? Or no, this is where you can buy stuff from um, Island Living. I'm thinking of The Sims 3, I'm stupid, sorry. It's where you can buy stuff from Island Living. <laughs> we have like some more uh, vending machines and stuff. Sorry, Sims 3. I'm thinking of the Sims 3. It looked like that. It was like rounded. It's the shop from Island Living. I'm, I, my brain is stuck in the Sims 3 and I stand by that. But there's a lot of vending machines in here. <laughs> so you can get Simmies, your Sim can die. Very exciting. Um, but anyway, this thing actually sells like uh, sunscreen and floaties and stuff. I knew that. I'm just, my brain's stuck in The Sims 3. My heart is stuck in The Sims 3. Um, anyway, you come in here, we've got these little sinks. What a nice layout for this community bathroom. There's a lot of toilets as well. Um, and then upstairs, we've got, oh, look at all the market tables. Okay, so these are where your Sims can sell their like wares, basically. Um, these ones you can put your paintings on and sell your paintings. And then, um, over here, you could like, if you made candles or if you had a bunch of collectibles, you could put them out on these tables and then sell them that way, which is so fun. I love this. I love this so much. I love the idea of lots like this. I, I haven't built one of these in a while and I probably should do it again because I really, really enjoy this. Um, but anyway, also guys, we don't have a giveaway open right now. I know a lot of you are typing Logitech. There's no giveaway open. We finished that one. We still have 10 codes, but we're going to do them later. Okay. Um, so we're not done or we're, we're done for now, but we'll do some more later. We're trying to, um, I didn't go into the basement. I didn't go into the basement. I forgot I had a basement. I'm the one who built this shell. 
What is wrong with me? Um, it was pinned? Oh, it's not pinned on my end. It's not pinned on my end. It might have been a weird glitch. Um, it's not pinned to the top for me, for us. It must the glitch, the pins are new, so they might be kind of glitchy, um, on some people's ends. We're back. Uh, in the basement, oh my god, it's like a cafe! Oh, I'm so glad we came back for this. Um, the, the basement is like a little cafe. That's so cute. And there's even a little bathroom down here. I'm so excited about that. I love how they opened it all up. What a cool concept. What a cool concept. Okay, very creative build, build mystical. That's awesome. Um, it might glitch again. The, it seems like this lot type is kind of bugged. So hopefully not, <laughs> but we'll see. Okay, it didn't. Um, the next one we're gonna do is Larly. Uh, and their name is Kel Butters on the gallery. Let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. Is it, was it pinned on mobile? Oh, yikes. Mobile is weird. Um, okay, come on. There we go. <laughs> Another university house! Do you know what? That is wild. I feel like nobody ever builds university houses. We never see these. This is our second one today. That's so cool. Um, that is so, so, so cool. Um, okay, okay. Uh, Kel Butters has built a university housing for four athletes. What a fun concept. Um, all right, let's go check it out in Brightchester. You still see it pinned on mobile still? Do so does it not like time out on mobile by default? Which area do you think it belongs in? Probably in Brightchester. Let's go see. Um, okay. <laughs> Still pinned on your phone? I can't see it. Oh, we think it might be because two mods pinned it at the exact same time. So that might have caused the glitch. It's like two people pinned it at the exact same time. I put it on the wrong lot, but that's okay. <laughs> we know what we're trying to do. Uh, this is such a cool roof line. Such a cool roof line. I've never thought to use these windows like this either. They combined the, um, like these are some of the high school windows uh, with like some of the stuff from university. What a cool concept. <laughs> so in the backyard, uh, the, the students have like sort of a party set up. They've got like a hot tub and some towels and everything. Um, over here we have like a fire pit and some lounge chairs, little uh, dining table and stuff. They've got their bikes and like some parking in the front. Um, and then when you actually come in here, oh my gosh, <laughs> because for it to be university housing, you aren't allowed to have a stove. Um, so the kitchen situation is a little bit odd uh, because of the Sims requirements, you can't put a stove here. So they've made like a, a series of of mini fridges for each student to have their own and then like some shared appliances probably, which is so cute. Um, <laughs> uh, and then they have like a tiny living space, not really like a fancy shared living space, obviously. Um, but there's a little bathroom down here, uh, but miraculously the kids seem to have en suites. Um, so one of the students has this kind of cute pink room. I love this little desk and their little like living area. Here's their bed. They've got like their yoga mat and some makeup over here. Oh, they even have like uh, one of the meditation stools and they have that cute ensuite bathroom. I like how the ensuites are all the same cause like realistically they would be the same but like maybe they have different towels in them and stuff. That's such a cute idea. Over here we've got one of the other kids rooms. Um, they have full of clutter. I like how they're trying to tell a story for each of the students. That's so fun. They have their ensuite. And then upstairs we have two more of the bedrooms. We've got this one that's kind of more purple. Do you know what? The rooms being like kind of funky shapes is so realistic for like an old house that's been converted like this. Like they're trying to fit them all with en suites. It just makes sense to me. I saw so many weird like long skinny dorm rooms when I was in college. Oh my cat is being so cute right now. 
I like this, like all the the clutter and decor they've put too. And then over here we have this kid's room. I like this, how they each have kind of a living space too. Um, I really, really, really like that. And then downstairs in the basement, they turned the basement into a gym because it's supposed to be for four athletes. Um, like these athletes, the student athletes all live together. So they have a gym space. They even have like a little mini basketball court set up, which is so funny. What a cute use of the space. And then we have like the rock climbing thing. Cause when else can you use that? Cause it's so tall. Oh, look how cute she's being. Oh, anyway, this is a fun idea. This makes me want to build university housing too. Should I put that on my schedule? I'm literally going to do it. Because <laughs> I want to I wanna build some. <laughs> this seems like fun. I like this. I guess if we're going to build apartments in a few days, that's kind of similar vibes, right? But either way, I want to do it. It looks like fun. You're all exciting me. Okay, ads are about to play, by the way, so I won't pick the next one just yet. Don't worry. You won't miss anything. Um, but I will read some subs so that I don't lose count. <laughs> I definitely have not read all of them, but thank you all so much. Um, Sloan and Love Maz and River and Melina and Lottie and Lindsay. Uh, we got Froggy and Nep and Rachel and Squeedle and E. Thank you all so much. Do you know what? I probably could try and message some of the giveaway winners while I'm at it, while these ads are playing. Is that wrong of me? <laughs> but this way everyone can... <laughs> I can make sure I get some of these over to people before, uh, before too long. Um, there we go. I got one of them. Woo! That's from earlier. One that I hadn't messaged yet from earlier. Um, we're not picking a new one yet. Don't worry. But we've got a minute until the ads stop playing, so. We might as well, right? We might as well. You got a Katy Perry ad that has Sweet Treats vibes? Oh my gosh. Oh, Katie's kind of disappointing me recently. It's okay though. Sweet Treats is forever iconic, no matter what. No matter what. Um, okay, and then we'll pick the next winner in about 15 seconds once the ads finish. Don't worry. Um, don't worry. This is good. This is a good use of my, my extra 15 seconds, right? Send in some of these codes so I don't forget. I won't forget, but that way they get them faster, right? Um, Okay, <laughs> just in case you all didn't know, um, we are, cur what is she doing? Oh God, we're currently uh, doing shell tours. <laughs> uh, I don't have a giveaway open, loves, loves, stop, stop. There is no giveaway, there is no giveaway. What are you doing? I'm messaging old winners. I'm messaging the original winners. They haven't been messaged yet. Shh, there's no giveaway, stop. <laughs> there is no open giveaway. If there was a giveaway, I would tell you. There's not a giveaway pinned either. We can't see a giveaway that's pinned. If you see a giveaway pinned, just close it. There is no giveaway. I would tell you if there was a giveaway. Oh my God. Uh, there is no pin message on our end. <laughs> I think the mobile thing is really throwing people off. Mods, we should stop pinning it because it's confusing people. Because it's not an unpinning like we wanted to. Um, Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Feeling close, it would be great. I think you can. I think you can click on the pin and un- Oh my god, I'm so anxious right now. My life just flashed before my eyes. Okay. Um, the next giveaway or the next- You made me say giveaway by accident. The next tour that we're going to do, not giveaway, tour, the next tour that we're going to do is Kiersey. Um, we're gonna do, uh, their gallery is Kiersey Sims. Oh my god. I think it's mobile, it's glitched, yeah. Um, with the pins. Oh my god, I'm so anxious. <laughs> I'm so anxious. Alright, Kira, this is for you, my friend. Kira's one of Dan's mods, actually. So that's kind of exciting. Oh, <gasps> cool! This is fun. Um, maybe I could pin, like, uh... How about this? What if I pin like how to enter the tours for a sec? Um, Cause that way, uh, maybe it would like fix it. I don't know. Unpin after 20 seconds, 30 seconds, fine. Does that help? 
Now it says 1100 seconds left. What do you mean? Oh my god, I'm gonna unpin it now. Hopefully that'll save the problem. Unpin this message. There. Did we fix it? Okay, anyway. This is Kira's build. <laughs> this is uh, their, their attempt at a modern house, which I relate to. No pin for you, that worked. Did it get rid of the other one? That's so weird, because we couldn't see another pin. So, it's just a weird Twitch bug. It's just a weird Twitch bug. Um. Oh well. It's okay. Um. All right. We have this modern build, which by the way, the roof line of is so cool. <laughs> I really, really like this. <laughs> I'm, I, you should be proud. I have such a hard time making this sort of thing, so this looks really good. The windows look so cool. It's hard to find a place for these, so it's fun to get them to use them on a house like this. Um, why was it called the Aurora Shell? Because of, um, this, this was actually a collab almost, or like sponsored by, not or sponsored, it was sponsored by Logitech. Um, they have, uh, this Aurora collection. Um, I can put a link to it in the chat, by the way if you want to check it out. Um, but they have uh, a new like headset, keyboard, mouse, really cute. It, these are, this is the Aurora headset. Um, it's actually a wireless headset, but I'm using it plugged into my mixer because I have a silly little, I'm a silly little streamer. But <laughs> um, there, there's a, uh, a promotion going on where if you buy the, the new Aurora collection, um, you actually get Spa Day for free with it. It like comes with a code for Spa Day, which is kind of fun. Um, so they wanted to do a shell challenge and like encourage people to build some spas and also give us a bunch of giveaway codes, which we aren't doing right now, but we will in a few minutes. <sighs> okay. <laughs> anyway, the outside of this is so nice. I feel so overwhelmed and distracted, so bear with me. Um, but on the back, uh, we have this little pool and a nice line of lounge chairs. We've got some garden planters and stuff. Uh, the staircase takes you down into like a little patio area, which is so fun. There's actually two staircases. Um, and then back here, oh my goodness, when you walk into the living room, I love this marble. What a cool idea. Um, when you walk in, we have the staircase right here in the front. Over to the right, we have this huge kitchen. I love the island. I like the clutter on it too. Um, and then over here, we have a little dining room. Not so little, it's kind of big actually. <laughs> A big dining room, uh, and then upstairs we've got oh like a cool lofted bedroom, and they have like a really nice ensuite bathroom too. Look at these with these like plants in the glass. I've never tried that. That looks so cool. I really like that idea with the custom shower, and then in the basement they've got like the living room down here in the basement which is a really fun idea because you can access it from the downstairs. These Sims are fancy. They have like cool style. I always forget about some of these like cool lights and stuff. It looks really good in here. It looks really, really good in here. You should be proud, Kier. It's really hard to build stuff like this, so you should be proud. It looks really, really good. <laughs> uh, that was quite cool. Okay. Okay, let's try and pick the next one. There's 845 requests. I'm not gonna get through them all, I'm so sorry. Uh, the next one is Meow Poo Central. Their gallery is Peanut Berry Lamb. Yeah, I find moder modern builds to be really challenging. Um, so it's impressive what they managed to pull off. Um. <laughs> We've got the Aurora Simsy Shell. <gasps> they wrote a story! Oh my gosh. Um, okay, after high school, we wanted to find out the truth about our father, but it didn't help that our passion is cooking when our father had been dinner himself. Did I, does that mean that the dad got eaten by cow plant? Huh. And then we adopted the ghost of a child who died in a fire that was haunting our house. And our mom moved in. Okay. <laughs> I'm ready. He was eaten by his mom? From the last shell. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Well, hope they're okay. <laughs> love the lore. I love this style of house. I love the wood. It looks really nice. This big porch and like all the landscaping. 
Do you know what? You're the second person to do the pool like this, um, to have the pool like up against the basement. I think that looks really cool. The person, there was a person, was it the karaoke bar or was it maybe just like the house in Mount Kamurabi that had the pool like that? It looks really cool. Um, anyway, when you come inside the house, uh, it looks like when you first walk in, we've got this little bathroom, so cute, so cute. Uh, like some storage and things. We've got a little tiny office right here and they made their staircase go around my weird bump out like hole in the wall, which was smart of them. Uh, over here, we got a little living room. We have a kitchen and dining nook. I love this cabinet. I never use this swatch because I hate this like orangey wood, but there's something about the Parenthood cabinet that no matter what color it is, I just always think it's perfect. I love the Parenthood cabinets. You can't go wrong. They're so good. They're so good. Um, and then I love this little kid's desk in here, by the way, how like the parents have an office, but the kid has their office too. The kid has their little like, table in there. Um, and then upstairs we have a little sitting area. This floor plan seems to have worked out really well. We have like a little sitting area, um, a little kid's bedroom, and they kind of made like a nook for a desk and they have a Jack and Jill bathroom shared between the two bedrooms. This is a great floor plan. In the basement, it looks like we've got, um, oh, it's the mom's apartment. Uh, so mom has like her own little kitchen, dining, uh, bedroom and bathroom. What a fun idea. And we've kind of turned this downstairs outdoor space into a patio. I love this. I love this. What a fun concept. I love building in The Sims. I love seeing how creative you all are. It's just great. It's just such good vibes, you know? Um, okay. Okay. So the next one that we're going to go over and see, oh my God, you literally can't make this up. Rochella. <laughs> I was going to tour Rochella's anyway today at some point, so I might as well do it now. Um, Rochella requested 50 minutes ago. <laughs> rigged, rigged. It's fine. We were going to get to it at some point. It's only fair, right? Uh, Shella's Aurora Shell. <laughs> Is she live right now? Did she come here, redeem the point request, and then leave? <laughs> That's funny. Um, I was going to, we were going to have to do hers, though. It's only fair, right? Um, Shella built a duplex. The lower apartment houses two roommates going to going to university together. What well, everybody did these university places. We've seen so many. What is what is it about basements that's like screaming uni house to people? That's amazing. <laughs> We've seen so many apartments. Uh, one of them loves arts and crafts while the other is a gamer who loves anime. And then next door we have a single middle-aged woman who lives with her beloved cat uh, and teaches art at the university. Oh no. What if that's like their teacher though? I would really dislike that if I, if I was a student and my teacher lived next door to me. <laughs> I think it was in Mount Komorebi. Oh no. <laughs> that seems bad. Um, can you guys go away? I want to place it here. That would be worst. Uh, where did it go? Come back. Let's try it. Let's go take a look. Um, I'm ready. Anyway, thank you all for the bits and subs and stuff today, by the way. I'm so sorry that I haven't been caught up so well. It's always really hard with the shells because there's so much going on. I feel extremely overwhelmed. <laughs> um, all right. So here we have the little duplex that Shella built. Oh my gosh, I love the parking lot. What a fun idea. There's like all this detail in the parking lot too. Um, so over here, let's try, um, I guess to see, oh, here's the front door. I was like, where is it? I love this little garden. Oh, so fun. And this part that fits like so well. Also, shall I like combined two fences? I like that detail. Um, okay, let's try this door first. So here's their mailbox. Uh, it looks like this is, oh, such a fun apartment shape. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so this is like the upstairs one, it looks like. So we have the kitchen right here. Um, love the color scheme so much. So adorable. They even have like, they're into gardening, so they have the plants over here. Um, and then when you come upstairs, uh, we have the little living room. I love this. The living room is in the second floor. They have a little shared bathroom. Uh, and then we've got a couple, uh, we have one bedroom and then like the art studio. So this must be the teacher's apartment. Um, shall I even use like the gallery paintings? There's the cat's bed. Look at this art studio. What a fun, oh, the cat's litter box is in the art studio. And the layered rug, oh my God, I love this. They also have a balcony, like a private balcony with an easel and stuff. This is like genuinely so cool. Okay, and then there's another apartment, the downstairs apartment, the basement is for the college roommates. Uh, and the college roommates um, have, this is their second upstairs. Sorry, I'm so lost. Okay, I was like, uh, no, they have this room obviously. So the roommates, when you come down here, this is their front door. Uh, they have this little kitchen uh, dining living area right here. Love this underneath the stairs. Here's their bathroom. And then they have a staircase to their upstairs, which is like the first floor of the, of the building. And then they have like this, oh my God, little art nook studio space. And then the two bedrooms, we have this super cute one. I never use these, that looks so good. And then we have uh, this one for the one who's into crafts. I love the layout. It's just so fun to build things like this that are like, I don't know, really creative uses of the space. Uh, this is from Rochella, Drop Dead. Uh, Rochella is her name on the gallery. She's also a Twitch streamer and a YouTuber if you want to go watch her channel. <laughs> My mods will put a link to her channel in the chat. Um, she's so talented. That was so fun. Okay. The next one is Kayla Badela. <laughs> Sorry, I got excited because my name's Kayla, their name's Kayla. Kayla Badela is next. <laughs> oh, the cat is back, it looks like. <gasps> oh my gosh. I love this. I'm so bad at modern builds. Um, this one has a eclectic nature inspired look. Okay. And this is in Windenburg. I love this. I'm having the most fun today. You have no idea. Windenburg. Windenburg. Where? Sorry. You'd think I would know where it is. The way her tail is so close to the camera makes her tail look giant as well. Because, <laughs> like, the, the scale is kind of off, you know? It's really cute. <laughs> uh, Flora will be live for, like, three hours today, probably. Um, I usually stream for about three hours every night, so that's the plan. Um, that's what I'm intending to do at least. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. I really like how they put these little accent pieces next to the windows and like with the shelves on top and bottom. I guess those are the curtains from the Desert Luxe kit. But I really, I just got water on my leg. I really like that. It looks really cool. Um, so it looks like over here we have the front door. I love this landscaping combo, by the way. Uh, and they've kind of like wrapped around and sort of tried to make this basement part a feature. In the backyard, oh my god, I love the color scheme. In the backyard we have like some landscaping, uh, there's some garden planters, we got a little grill and stuff. Uh, I'm gonna check the basement first. You can come into the basement, oh look! Stairs and then platforms. And we have like some seating, look at this. And they've got like kind of a living room, almost guest room combo, cause it has the Murphy bed with the bathroom. Really nice space down here. I think it may have meant to have been in Mount Comerebi, but I thought it was Windenburg, so that's my bad. But <laughs> I'm looking at this now and I'm like, hmm, mountains. Yes. <laughs> Um, I love this this poster as an accent wall. I always forget about some of these swatches because some of them are like kind of hard to use, but that one is really neutral and a great accent wall. That's so cool. Um, but 
Anyway, so when you first walk into the house on the first floor, you walk straight into the, like, the living room right here. Uh, and then we've got a dining room with a fireplace. And look at these cool little built-in uh, like display spaces for the plants with my weird bump outs. Um, they also turned my weird little square they had to keep into a bathroom. And we have the staircase kind of wrapping around it into the basement. And then the kitchen is back here. I love the shelves like sort of above the pet bowl because they have the little pet treats and stuff. Um, we had this huge kitchen. I love this. I've never thought to use, these are the base game upper cabinets. Um, with this swatch of the Dream Home Decorator ones, it really matches. Because these cabinets are the same color as the, the drawer pulls. That's a really, really good color combo. I've never thought to combine those two, but that looks really nice together. <laughs> That's really, really good. I really like that. I like how they put some decorations on the windowsill too. Um, and then upstairs, it looks like we've got a couple bedrooms and a bathroom. So we've got a little hallway that takes you out to the patio. Over here, we got a little bathroom. I really like this house. This is beautiful. What's the backsplash? Oh, oh, this is base game. This is the industrial interest wallpaper. Um, this is, if you look, it's actually underneath like the, um, the masonry category. Scroll to the bottom. It has this horrible orange swatch by default, but it has really nice white wallpaper. That's base game. Very good wallpaper. It's really nice. Um, upstairs we have this little purple bedroom for the kids. So adorable. Uh, and then we have this little uh, primary bedroom with a closet included. Yeah, it's a really expensive wallpaper. It's kind of silly, but it looks good, so. <laughs> um, this one is by Kayla Badela on the gallery. Speed tour? I'm not trying to do a speed tour. I guess I am a little bit trying to do a speed tour, although I, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to make sure I get through as many people's builds as possible. <laughs> So I'm not trying to like speed tour, but I guess I am a little bit trying to speed tour, you know? Um, Cause that way everybody hopefully has a chance. Um, okay, well, let's go to the next one, shall we? Shall we? Okay, the next one is gonna be Anxious Pancake 7 on Twitch. Yeah, there's uh, 868 entries that we still have to do. So we won't be able to. <laughs> Uh, we won't be able to do that, unfortunately. Um, Blue Swan Bistro! Yes! I love, love, love restaurants in The Sims. It's a fancy bistro, 30 by 30 lot. Let's go take a look, shall we? I also feel like an anxious pancake right now, if I'm being honest. <laughs> anxious pancake seven. <laughs> I really love doing the shell streams, but I find them really overwhelming um, in a good way, but also in like a guilty way because it's so fun to see all your builds, but then I feel so bad that there's like so many people who I'm not going to get to. I feel so guilty. So I hope you understand. It's, a, it's an emotional day, these shell tour days. <laughs> uh, so here is the Blue Swan Bistro. I love the name, like based on the cool sign. That's so fun. Um, it looks like when you first walk up, we have- Oh, I love that swatch! Is that the cottage living one, or is that the dine-out one? Let's get to work. Lil Business! Lil Simsy. Okay. Anyway, I like the rose. That's cute. <laughs> uh, we have a pond! We haven't seen many ponds today. Very exciting pond back here. Um, it also says don't poop in the pond, which totally agree. Totally agree. <laughs> I love the roof with the like plants on it. This shape is so cool. All right, so when you actually come inside, oh my gosh. The vibes in here are really nice. With the blue floor and these like nice tables with the tablecloth, it's so elegant. So you can check in right here. Um, I assume they put this mannequin maybe as like a, uh, like prop guest or something. It might be glitched because uh, of getting it off the gallery. The mannequins are so weird on the gallery. Uh, and then back here we have some more light in this area. I love, love these statues in this like brighter room. I like these half walls stacked up. And then down here we have the kitchen. So we have kind of like the employee space where they can grab like the uh, plates and stuff. And then over here we have the actual kitchen for the chefs. And then upstairs we've got a few more tables. It's not huge obviously. 
Um, but they've made good use of the space. And we have used these lights again from high school years. And then it looks like in the basement down here, you can come down the stairs and this is where you get to the bathrooms. I love that. Oh, they have talking toilets. What do you think the menu is like? Oh, it's an Italian restaurant. Oh, fancy. That checks out, I feel like. That's really nice. That is really nice. I love the name, I love the colors. This is really cool. Very fun idea, Pancake. I really like that. Um, okay, okay. And the next one that we are going to do is Zemi May, and their gallery is Zodiac Libra 63. Let's go check it out, shall we? Shall we? Oops, if it would load. If it would load. Yeah, we're all just anxious. <laughs> That's a good way of describing it, Poofing. We're all just anxious. Oh, is that me? Yeah, you're in chat. Awesome. Well, I guess you redeemed it seven minutes ago, so I assume so. <laughs> uh, this is so fun. I'm so excited. Gardener home. Oh, and they did my last shell too. That's fun. Um, this is the gardener home. Uh, they filled the home with plants. And there's a teenage room for an artist. Cool. This is really fun. All right, let's go place this one down. Shall we? I'll place it over here. I am curious to see. <laughs> oh, have a good rest of your night, Diane. Have a, sleep well, okay? And happy, uh, happy almost birthday. That's so exciting. Um, okay. Okay. Here we have the gardener home. I love this. The stone with the wood. I love these swatches in particular, like this one with, is this the one from uh, Spade, I think? It is the Spade wood, see? Spade is really good. Do you wanna do a giveaway? <laughs> I've got 10 more codes. We could do one of them now, why not? Um, might as well. While we do this, we can do the Spade giveaway. This will be, we'll do five codes here of uh, Spa Day. If you would like to enter for a chance to win, type the word Logitech in the chat as a thank you to them for giving us so many codes. Um, all you gotta do is type the word Logitech um, and then you'll be entered for a chance to win the Sims 4 Spa Day. And we'll, we'll tour around here while we wait. I love this, by the way. Like this is one of my favorites, this little lavender plant um, with the little plant around or the little fence around it, so cute. I love this over here. I just, I really like your landscaping. I love this little garden bed back here for the gardener sim. It's just so nice. It's so, so nice. And then when you actually walk inside, oh, their floor plan is good. Okay. So when you first walk inside, we have a little dining room right here. Back in the corner, we have this living room space. They have an easel. Uh, over here, we have the kitchen. I love the color combo. So cool with the blue and the wood. They kind of use the bump out uh, for this little, the like fridge nook basically. Um, and they covered up that one, which I don't blame them for. <laughs> Although they put cabinets in it. There's like drawers in it almost. That's smart. Um, they also turned my weird little square they had to keep into like a walkway to access the bathroom. And we put like the, the bathroom stuff in here. There's a little chest table back here. And then they stacked the stairs. So downstairs, oh my God. Downstairs we have the whole garden and the laundry and stuff. So we have like the laundry, some storage, uh, the flower arranging table. Oh my god, I'm so easily pleased with this kind of thing. I love this. This is so realistic too, I feel like in the basement. Um, back here they have, first of all, so cute with the trellises. Uh, clothes hanger. And then we have some garden planters back here for the sim to garden with. That is so cute. And then if you go up upstairs, we've got a couple bedrooms. We've got the bathroom right here. We have the main Gardener Sims bedroom. They have a huge private balcony and they even have a telescope. And then over here, they have a little like secret private office. And the kid, the artist kid has their own little room too. This is so cute. You're making me so happy with this. Um, also, chat, in case you missed it, we're doing a giveaway of the Sims 4 Spa Day right now. You can type the word Logitech in the chat for a chance to win the Sims 4 Spa Day. Unfortunately, it's just a PC and Mac code. It won't work on console, but if you have uh, the Sims 4 on your computer, which you can totally get because it's free, um, you can type that word Logitech in the chat for a chance to win. And then I will draw the winners here in a second. We're gonna pick five 
Um, so that way, uh, hopefully a bunch of you have a chance to win. Logitech has given us literally so many codes, like so many codes, um, 50 total. We get, we have 25 today. We've done so far, um, a bunch of them. All right, I'm draw the first winner now. The first of the five winners is going to be Pipperoonie one Pipperoonie one You are the proud new owner of a shiny new spa day. Uh, and we also have angry underscore ducky. Iconic. Uh, after that, we have Enidalia. Enidal oh no, I'm so sorry. Um, Hopefully you know who you are. You'll get a message from me with the code. <laughs> um, and then we got two more for now. Uh, we have Addy underscore 1612. Addy underscore 1612. And the last one for now, Ali Licks. Ali Licks. So I will whisper you all uh, the codes uh, after I get off stream, because otherwise it's too hard for me to do it all at once. <laughs> um, and don't worry guys, we have six codes left after this. Six codes left after this that we can do later. So we're not done yet. We got loads where that came from. <laughs> uh, we've had so many. It's so fun getting to do this many giveaways, you know? Okay, so the first one that we are going to do, uh, I mean, the next one we're going to do, what am I saying? Not first, uh, is Sims Obsession on Twitch. There are Sims for Life Nicole on the gallery. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Um, okay. Okay. If it would load. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> Movie theater and arcade? Oh my gosh. I love that. That is so fun. Um, okay. Let's go check it out. 40 by 30 lot. I'm ready. We've had a couple in Del Sol Valley now. Um, yeah, uh, Great Coyote, it's it's once per giveaway. When I open it again, you type it again. I don't have one open right now if you just finish that one. But after, once per, once per giveaway, you can type it. And that's how it works. An option to watch the stream from the beginning? Yeah, you can see from the beginning today already, uh, Oceana. If you want to go onto my Twitch channel and you press videos, it'll have the stream from the beginning that you can watch already, even though I'm still live. Um, and then it'll be there once I get offline, obviously. And then I'll, I'll post this on my second channel on More Simsy um, in a few days. So don't leave me, Snap. Just curl up and stay where you belong. Okay, good. So cute. <laughs> I love having the cat cam. It makes my day every time. Okay, so here is the movie theater and arcade. Are you kidding? Oh yeah, you can watch while I'm still live. I can show you guys. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, on my Twitch channel, ignore this. No one wants to see Lil Simsy. But on my Twitch channel, um, if you go to the videos tab, uh, you can see this is today's stream. Um, see, it's an hour and 47 minutes long because that's how long I've been live for. So you can start today's stream back if you want. Um, Even though I'm still start. live. Oh. That's right now. <laughs> uh, but if you wanted to, you could do that. Obviously you don't have to, but if you wanted to. Um, and then it'll be there once I'm offline still too, so. Uh, anyway, I love this movie theater vibe. This is so fun. So we have like a little parking lot over here. They've got a murder pond in the back. <laughs> We've got the murder pond um, back here, of course. Uh, we obviously need that um, so that my Sims can get eaten by sharks when they come on vacation. Uh, <laughs> they have this little like kid set up. I like to pretend this maybe is like where the kids can watch their movies, their showings. Um, the pond has made many appearances today, it seems. Yeah, it's a necessity. It makes sense. I get it. Um, there's like some vending machines so you can buy your snacks and your simi capsules before you eat. That's so cool. This is so fun. And then they use like all the fun movie posters and the cool signs and details and stuff. Uh, so that when you come in, it looks like, oh, there's props. They even put a cow plant. I love the idea of pretending that it's a prop, like a movie prop, but it's actually a live cow plant. <laughs> that is so fun. Um, so they have like a little section back here for props. Um, it looks like it can be, I wonder if you could set it as a restaurant and it still works. Cause they have the, um, 
the restaurant thingy. Oh no, it's not a restaurant. It's just it's just uh, for storytelling purposes, which I understand. But you can check in. You can buy your concessions over here, which is so cute. Um, this is the boba tea counter from high school years, so it's got some fun food and you can get boba. Great, great use of it, I think, for movie theater because it's got kind of fun food that fits that purpose with the high school years food. We got a little bathroom over here and then downstairs, oh my gosh, it's the arcade. Downstairs we have the arcade section. Um, this is where you can play all your games. They've got video games, they've got like the game machines. There's a photo booth, there's ping pong, there's a bar all out in this outdoor area. What a cool idea. I love the idea of bringing my Sims to stuff like this. It's such a, plus like your Sims can woohoo in this. You can get your photo. Like it's a great like thing to have in your Sims world, you know, uh, to come visit. And then upstairs is the actual theater where you, it's like, you know, dark and you can watch the movie screen and they covered it with curtains. Oh, I just love this. It's so fun. It's so fun. I love how creative people are with this sort of thing, you know? I really, really like this. I like how they've managed to make like the outdoor space for the arcade. I don't know, it's just fun because we have this such a weird hole in the ground that I added and they made it into something really cool, you know? Um, I don't know, I'm impressed. I'm very, very impressed. <laughs> okay, ads annoyingly are about to play again. Don't worry, I won't pick anybody while you're gone. Um, it's only gonna be a minute. So you're not gonna miss anything, I promise. Um, anyway, anyway, I'm gonna try and read some subs again. <laughs> Ella and Evie and Jazzy and Helena and Kat and Sully and Dozen and Chocolate and Nicole, uh, Claire, Evo, Becca, Andy, thank you for the subs, everybody. I really, really appreciate it. Okay, I'll get the next one ready so that we're uh, good to go as soon as it becomes time. As soon as it becomes time. Um, your heart's gonna explode because of how cute this kitty is. Yeah, she's just hanging out. She's just sitting with us. She's being so nice today. I love cat hangout time. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> She's being really, really cute. Um, also, if I could ask you all one little thing um, while we're sitting here chatting. Uh, for today and also in the future, when you guys are redeeming the point reward, I would really appreciate it if you didn't request on behalf of others. Um, I know that you mean well and that you're just excited if there's like a friend of yours that did it or whatever, um, but it makes it really hard for me when I'm like uh, randomizing and then it like pulls up like two Urshelas and I already two Urshelas and like it's, you know, so, or like last time Shella didn't even finish hers. And everybody was like, two Urshelas, and it just wasn't on the gallery. <laughs> um, so I hope you understand, um, but it's uh, in the future if you could enter only with your build instead of like, do the one above me or two or so-and-so, like it's uh, just easier that way. I know you just mean well, but uh, good. it's a good rule of thumb for next time, if I could ask that, if you know, it's not a big deal if you did it, but for next time. Yeah, and it also makes people uncomfortable. Like my friends always are like, I'm so sorry they're doing that. And I'm like, it's okay, it's not your fault. You know, like I don't want anybody to feel weird about it. So uh, if you could just tour, uh, request to tour yours instead of other people's, that would be great. Um, and the next one that we're going to do is Maya Cat 13 <laughs> And their gallery name is the same as their Twitch, um, which is quite fun, Maya Cat 13 Let's check it out, Enchanted Home. I love that. Oh my gosh, look at the waterfall. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? 50 by 40, let's go see it. Let's go see it. New crest, please. I never build on 50 by 40 lots either. <laughs> um, so that'll be kind of fun to go and try and do a big one. Um, I like this idea. Oh no, Linguini, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <gasps> Oh my god. This whole thing is debug? I never use that. That is so fun. I love that waterfall they've put there. And the way they have like these cool glowing orbs. These glowing orbs are debug too. It looks really good at nighttime. Oh, and they have this cool like magical tree in the back. Oh, so fun. Okay, okay. So when you actually go up to the house, it looks like we have a really nice path around the whole thing. There's also like access to the upstairs and a balcony right here. Um, 
And then if you come this way, you can walk in through the front door. Oh, and it's got a bunch of stuff for like magic sims. We have like the brooms and everything. <laughs> uh, if you come back here, we have the kitchen. I love this. By the way, I kind of forget about like this pink swatch on this chair. That is a really nice pink swatch. I need to use that more often because that is a good chair. And they used my favorite uh, color cabinets, these little teal ones from Vampires. Adorable. Uh, over here, we have this little bathroom. Uh, so I'll be live for about three hours, so like another hour more after this. Um, and then over here, we got a little living room as well. I like the purple, like, accents. There's a few kind of around matching these flowers out here. It's really nice. And then upstairs, oh my gosh. It's kind of like a lofted space. Wait! Oh, the main upstairs, like this is the main staircase. I love that when people do staircases in like kind of unconventional ways. It looks so cool. And so many people have used this light. I know we talked about this earlier, but I genuinely forget about this thing. This is the canopy light from uh, the high school years pack. There's a few different sizes of, the, of it. They have like different height um, or different length like pieces, you know? Um, I feel like I really need to use that more because that above the bed is so pretty. We need to take notes on that too. Build an entire house with a canopy bed because <laughs> that looks really, really good. We also have a little ensuite bathroom right here. And then over here, we have like the staircase outside that kind of walks you around. We have like flower engine table and then they have all their magic stuff down here. Oh, sorry, I'm yawning. Oh no. <laughs> sorry. Um, and then in here we have like the magic stuff. We have like the uh, the cauldron and everything. I love this. We should play Realm of Magic again soon. Because I haven't played it in a while. And it is fun. It is genuinely really fun. Um, okay. I think... The next one, should we go to the next one? Let's try and get through as many as we can. We've got like an hour left, we can do it. We can do it. Um, the next one that we're going to do is gonna be Sketchy Flamingo on Twitch. Their gallery is V Bree Sim. Um, oh, they built a spa too, yes. I love seeing the spas. I, I'm trying to get inspo from people's spas. <laughs> Aurora Spa, a small desert oasis for the fatigued sim to realign and relax. This is my first Simsy shell! Oh my goodness! Well, you tried and you did very well with this, all things considered, if it's your first attempt. Um, okay, Oasis Springs. Uh, oh, I was gonna put it there, but I'm there. I built a tiny home. <laughs> I did that today. I'm not gonna post that on YouTube for like two weeks though. <laughs> I was trying to pre-record, I'm, I'm trying to pre-record at least a little bit um, for when Dan's family comes. Uh, I'm trying to get ahead. I've only done two, but I need to get ahead. So I did that one today. Yay. <laughs> I, I feel like it, I could easily record while Dan's family is here, but I also, I think I feel guilty about asking Dan to edit while his family is here. So I'm trying to like, you know, get ahead for Christmas, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, this is the spa that they built. Keep in mind the first of three peas, we have a pond. There's not been a lot of ponds today. Um, I haven't seen any perishing either. There's no death and there's been no creepy basements, not a single one yet, um, which is okay. It's fine. <laughs> Hoping to see some more scary basements soon though. Oh, they covered it with this cool thing from the kit. That is really cool. I almost yawned again, sorry. <laughs> In my defense, I slept okay last night, but the night before I literally did not sleep. So, cause I felt so sick, it was horrible. I'm fine now though, I'm better today. Today's been a lot better, yesterday was bad. I only streamed for 18 minutes yesterday. I'm not kidding. On purpose, but. <laughs> anyway, I love this to cover the pit, that's so cool. And these little flowers. So beautiful. Okay, so when you actually come inside of the building, <gasps> so tranquil. Okay, so we have this fountain. Oh, uh, you can check in right here. And then it looks like they turned my weird box into like a fancy light fixture, like kind of a show. 
Um, over here we have like some shelves with things that you can buy. And then they use this to put the little nail things right by the window so you can look out at the at the view while you're sat here. It's actually some kind of pretty like rock formations to look at. And then we have the bathrooms downstairs. Oh, we got like the toilets and the showers and stuff. Um, and then you can come into the basement, for example, where they have the sauna and like a bunch of these uh, like places to change and everything. I haven't used this window yet. This is also from that kit. I've never used it in a build. It looks really good for this one though, with all the wood that they have. Um, anyway, sauna, really nice. We also have like the door to this area out here. You can go to the bar or you could get a massage. <gasps> I didn't even realize that underneath this like this covered area with the plants, there's two private massage tables. That is my favorite thing I've seen for massage tables in The Sims ever. I've never, like, I always have a hard time figuring out where to put them. That looks so nice. Oh my god, look at my cat. <laughs> look at her! I actually could cry. She looks so cute right now. That's my best friend. <laughs> anyway, when you go up upstairs, we have some more private massage rooms. We have these right here, and then we also have these to get your like hand and foot massages or your nails done. Uh, you also have this little private, oh look, with the meditation stools, like kind of private with the cover off this. And they put like some plants in front to make it really private from the road. <laughs> this is so nice. And then we also have some yoga mats right here. The vibes of this, like the color scheme, is really good. I love all of the wood accents. It looks so, so tranquil in there and so beautiful. It's very good vibes. It's very good vibes. It's a nice wallpaper choice, I think, everywhere. Um, okay, let's go on to the next one. I'm trying to get through as many as I can. I don't mean to go so fast. Uh, the next one is going to be Plant C. It's their first time finishing a shell challenge, they said. Uh, that's kind of fun. Okay, plant C with two S's. Let's check it out. Yeah, honestly, the cat napping kind of adds to the peaceful vibe. <laughs> it does kind of fit in. Oh, did we get another spot? Oh my gosh, we did ask people to build spas. So that makes sense. <laughs> this one is cool. I love those pink flowers. This one is in um, the wedding world. It's the most Simstagrammable spa by the Tartosa Tourism Board. <laughs> That's so fun. Let's go see. Let us go see. What was the, how, what was the lot size on that? Oops. Oh, I don't remember. 30 by 30 maybe? No. Is it 20 by 15? I think it's this one. Is it 20 by 20? I don't know. Yeah, Miff, there's, <laughs> there's 892 requests, 893 now. So, <laughs> I'm not sure we'll get through all of them. <laughs> oh dear, okay, first of all, the way they have like the three story vibes with the vines, very fun. It's okay, you'll pick me, right, right? Miv, I can do yours next. It's fine. <laughs> oh no, Vi, I don't gain channel points on my own stream. I just have infinite channel points. Like, you know where, where yours says a number of how many points you have? I have an infinity sign. I don't earn channel points from my own streams. Can't imagine why. I just have infinite. So I will always win. <laughs> it's rigged. <laughs> I will always win with the point, uh, with the number of points. I've got uh, as many. Can you use your mod privilege too? Okay, fine. I'll do yours too, fine. Fine, I guess Little Dika makes me enough custom CC. I'll literally be like, hey, can you make me a hair? <laughs> and he's like, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> so the, the least I can do is tour his build on stream. Fine, anyway, this is Plancy's. Uh, I love this with the big giant fountain, by the way. 
and then we have this open area to the downstairs um, and and there's kind of two ways to get in you can come in this uh, first floor way or you can go up the stairs to the second floor first which is where I'm going first um, it looks like this is kind of how you're supposed to get into like, this is like maybe the waiting room in this area because there's all the magazines and things that you can buy Look, they filled it with water bottles! Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that as like a fun um, clutter object. Oh my god, you can't even see my cat. Wait one second, I'm gonna move the uh, the cat cam to be more cat angled. That's better. There, now you can see her. Now I've looked at her, so hopefully she doesn't leave us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, I love the water bottles. I didn't even think about that, but that makes perfect sense. And then over here, look at the custom floor they did. These are like combined uh, different floor tiles to make like a custom design. And we've got all of this, oh my God, the nail salon. Look at the rainbow nail polish. Oh no, don't leave. Don't you dare. I, well, I can't look at her in real life because then she'll come over here. Um, I'm obsessed with this rainbow nail polish line that you have. That is so smart. I hadn't even thought about that. That is so cool. It's very Simply Nail Logical, um, very hollow taco, which I'm wearing right now. <laughs> uh, that is so cool, that is so cool. And then over here we have a bathroom. I love the green tub. I didn't even think about that, but it looks really good. Um, Twitch user Plancy has added a bunch of plants inside as well, shockingly. Um, no! How could you? Come up, it's fine. I had it coming when I looked at her. When she saw me look at her to like move the camera, I knew it was gonna happen. <sighs> She's coming to sit with us. You were being so cute on your chair. Did you know that? It was so cute. Everybody loved it. Anyway, she's gonna sit with us now. <laughs> uh, and then when you come over here, I didn't even realize this, but these like glass cubes to do your meditating, it's floating. What a fun use. And then like, keep in mind, this is the view. That is so cool. That is such a cool use of that weird space because it's floating. I don't know, I love that. I'd be too scared to walk out on that, to be honest, but it looks really cool. <laughs> and then you come downstairs, uh, we've got like a little sitting area, it looks like. In here we have a yoga studio, so you can take some classes. Um, we got some more seating over here, we got... I don't know what this is. I'm alarmed. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it a plastic surgery room chat. It looks a little bit more nefarious than that. Uh, it seems like they might have bad intentions. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is the basement or the main floor. You can also get to the basement from here and in the basement uh, We have like an open-air sauna space with like some drinks and stuff uh, some lounge chairs and we also have a closed-off sauna and Some lockers and stuff. That was kind of scary I'm worried I am very 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 worried um, Oh, sorry um, <laughs> let me send my mods, uh, really fast because they're asking a question, um, about my P.O. box, so I make sure they have it. Um, 327, I think that's right. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Got it, sorry. <laughs> that was our first creepy room of the build. We haven't seen many creepy builds yet so far. Um, so that's kind of fun. I'm just gonna move on, pretend I didn't see that, you know? Don't say that out loud. What, my P.O. box? My P.O. box is public, Rosie. 
Uh, I was reading out loud the um, the postcode, 32762. The P.O. box number is 621944. That's not, that's public. That's the point of a P.O. box. <laughs> um, okay. Anyway, also zip codes aren't like that big of a deal. Um, they're wide spaces, so. Anyway, um, the next one we're gonna do is moon socks. Um, okay, okay. Let's go pull that up. Oops, I almost closed out of it. My cat is kind of making it hard for me to access my mouse right now because she's on it a little. So, um, their gallery name is Luna Socks One. And it's an Aurora Space Center? Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, Revolutionary, someone once uh, sent a bunch of ladybugs to my P.O. box. Oh, I was gonna do Miv, I forgot. Sorry, I'll do that after this. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, there's a reason I deleted the command, but I'll put it back because I've been getting a lot of questions about it recently. <laughs> That's what happened. Two people asked the mods what my P.O. box was, and they were like, I don't know it, because I deleted the command. Um, I think that was justified. Anyway, uh, this is the Aurora Space Center. <laughs> uh, this is really cool, like really, really cool, by Luna Socks one The Landgraf family donated their old lot to the city so they could build a museum here. Oh my gosh, after some disagreement, architect Kay Sims left them with an empty shell and in a squeeze, the city council hired my Sims self <laughs> uh, to build it. Oh no, here we go. It's Simsy's fault. <laughs> uh, let's go place this on. Oh, I need, to, I need to kill the land grabs first and then I can place it. Hang on. Let me evict this. And then... Oh, I think my cat's tail is like rubbing up against the microphone. So if you heard that, sorry. <laughs> All right, I killed the land grabs. I, I grabbed back the land and now my cat is gonna lay down so I can see the screen. I can't find this button. Okay, uh, I wanted to place an edit. You mean evict, right? Mm, no. Do you guys think it's like brand safe to talk about killing the land grabs in a sponsored stream? <laughs> do you think it's, uh, do you think it's brand safe to discuss killing the land grabs in this sponsored stream? Hey, Logitech! <laughs> Sorry! They know, they know where they are. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. They're not, the land, the land grabs aren't dead. They're just, you know. Not with us. Anyway, they know what they signed up for, it's fine. <laughs> okay, I am obsessed with this. Can I just say, I absolutely adore this parking lot, like the photo booth, the parking meter, um, the way we have like a dumpster, the alien mailbox, there's like a curiosities shop, there's even a bus stop. Like the, the plans for out here is so fun. In the back, we have this little play yard playground for the kids, um, this like giant rocket ship dollhouse, literally rocket ships, there's three of them. <laughs> um, we have uh, um, that, that is concerning. That's a bunch of alien graves. We got some dead people back here, <laughs> right by the playground, really? Huh. Um, anyway, there's like a little spot where you can eat and read over here. <laughs> I love the like whole lot. The vibes with the dinosaur and stuff is so cute. Yeah, they're just some nice lawn ornaments. Nothing to see here, it's fine. Um, and then when you actually come inside, oh my gosh. Look at like all of these things. There's like kind of a gift shop right here. Okay, Snap, I love you, but your head is really blocking my mouse. She's, she has taken up my entire mouse pad. I have no mouse pad left because the cat is on it. Um, <laughs> anyway, we have this little like uh, gift shop. There's some books, there's some kids projects. I never thought about putting the kids projects 
in a like a gift shop vibe before but like the solar system and the rocket that makes perfect sense to like sell like a kit like a project kit at a place like this the cat left i'm sorry that i was mean to you i didn't mean it you can come back snappy now she's just sitting there looking at me Anyway, love the books. Cute selection of books, too. They've got, like, some, you know, rocket science ones and everything. Uh, we've got some little alien things, tiny baby Yodas and stuff. Uh, over here, is this, uh, this is the thrift shop counter. So cool. It's got good vibes. They turned my weird little box into a display of alien plants. <laughs> There's some more alien displays. Uh, we've got a cafe right here, some more alien displays. We got the bathrooms back here and the door to the outside. Um. <laughs> okay, I think um, over here, upstairs, we've got a bunch of really, really beautiful, beautiful uh, space paintings. Um, this is so good. <laughs> One second, let me mess some mods back. Um, okay, anyway, I love this. I never use these space prints except for things like this. I should use them more often. These you can get from Debug, but these are the space prints that your Sims can get when they use like the observatory item and stuff. Um, and it's just really good. They're really nice. I really, really like those. The space collectibles are really good. Um, Anyway, <laughs> I love this idea. So cool. They even have the observatory up here. Uh, it looks like you can actually access that from the stairs up here. Um, and then in the basement, the staircase is, I didn't even notice it. It's behind this. And then in the basement, we have some more scary alien things to collect. And then this whole like alien vibe down here that you can see like from the glass up top. Um, that is so cool. They even have like photographs of the alien world. Oh, you can actually get in here as well. Oh, wow, that's a really cool exhibit. What a fun idea to have the Sims be able to actually go down there. That makes so much sense for like a, a I don't know, alien museum like this. That was from Luna Socks One on the gallery, by the way. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Actually, before I do the next one, I might do one more quick giveaway. I'm gonna do three codes this time. I've got six codes left, so let's split it in half. We'll do three codes this time for spa day. Uh, and this time, I'm mixing it up. Um, no, I won't. This time, uh, let me get it ready. Type that word Logitech in the chat for a chance to win one of those three codes for spa day. Uh, and we're gonna do Mivs, I think. I promised I would do Miv and Little Dikas. Um, so we'll do theirs quickly. Um, but anyway, let's go see. This is a PC and Mac code for The Sims 4 Spa Day, by the way. Um, Miv built the Lux Beach Mansion, which I've seen screenshots of and is really, really cool. <laughs> so let's go to Sulani and take a look at this. Um, oh, I gotta, I gotta, um, get rid of some Sims again. <laughs> um, so keep in mind, we're doing currently, um, a giveaway of the Sims 4 Spa Day. Um, so that, it's that big lot in the middle. What, this one? It should be this, they're both 40 by 30, right? Hopefully it's fine. Um. We're doing giveaway of Sims 4 Spa Day. Type the word Logitech in the chat. Again, thanks Logitech. Uh, they gave us so many codes. <laughs> uh, we, we've done basically a sponsored shell with them. We built the shell, um, built a spa in honor of the Spa Day promo. If you didn't know, if you buy the um, Aurora collection on Amazon right now, it gives you Spa Day for free. Um, and then uh, they gave us a bunch of codes of Spa Day to give away to you all. We've had 50 <laughs> total. We did 25 in the first room and we're gonna do 25 today. We've got six left, so we're doing three right now. Um, this is Miv's build. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> this is so cool. I know it took Miv ages to do this. Um, so I'm really excited to, to get to look around. This is so fun. Um, where to even begin? Okay, so first of all, it looks like we've tried to use a bunch of these planter boxes. Um, 
and like included some of these debug statues to like make it look like it's there underneath the ground or something, which is so fun. Um, over here, we have like a lot of pathways. Uh, this path takes you down to a sunken little fire pit area. Hello. This little fountain has stepping stones with little candles on it. Over here, we have like a little horseshoe thing, which is so fun. Um, it looks like back here, uh, we got like a little separate shed games room kind of vibe, um, which is adorable. I love this. It's so nice to have this kind of guest space too, because this has like a Murphy bed and stuff, little bathroom and everything. Oh my God, around back here, we have uh, two pools. They So Miv turned half of the like weird hole in the ground into a pool and the other half into like a place to get inside, which is kind of cool. Um, and then um, we have these, I never thought to line those up with the separate alternating ones, but they have all these little chairs. We got the table, we have this little space right here. Oh my God, okay. I'm gonna really quick do the winners of the giveaway and then we'll look at the inside, but. <laughs> Uh, the first giveaway winner, type that word Logitech in the chat one more time. We got three of these right now. Um, the first giveaway winner is Detective Platypus. Oh my goodness, that's a good username. Perry the Platypus. Uh, the next winner is Krenesis. Uh, congratulations to you, my friend. And the third winner, last one for now, is uh, Ruse underscore 76. R-O-O-S Ruse underscore 76. And that's the the three for now. We've got three codes left though, so we're not done yet. Don't worry. Um, we will do we will do some more at the like, closer to the end of the stream, basically. Um, Miv, this is genuinely so good. There's like so much to take in. I love what you did with the shape of the main building too. Um, is that how you get into the house? Is that like the main entrance? Okay, so you come up here and you go down the stairs. This is like the main entrance to the house. Um, so when you walk in, we've got like a little uh, entry space. There's a tiny office. You go underneath the stairs into like a little meditation room, which has a view of the, the pool. That's so cool. I love this glass. And then you go upstairs into like the main space. Um, and in that main space, you got like a little hallway right here. There's a kitchen in the back that's got big open door to the patio. Um, we have this little living room. We did the same thing with the platforms to make like some cute display cases, basically. I love this little item with the fishing rod. Um, and then over here, we turn, I don't know which of these is my weird box, but we embrace the weird box and we turn it into two weird boxes, one of which takes you into a bedroom and the other one is for laundry. Incredible. <laughs> and then we have a little bathroom downstairs too. What a good use of all this space. And then upstairs, we managed to fit in three more bedrooms and a couple bathrooms. We got a little hallway, a little pink kids room. I love these little sandal lights. That's so cute. Um, we got a little bathroom. We have this little primary bedroom. I love the beach vibes. That's a good color scheme. They have an ensuite and access to a balcony, which is so fun. Um, and then we have this little private bedroom too. Miv, you did really well in like filling this entire lot. I feel like this turned out so well. I really like the color scheme on it. It's really good. And the landscaping is so cool. I think my favorite part is this area. I like this fountain and the conversation pit a lot. I think this is really, really cool. Um, but anyway, this is awesome. I'm impressed. <laughs> These builds take so long. I'm so sorry. I feel like I caused so many people so much genuine pain with the shell challenges. Um, it's like awesome. <laughs> it's I'm awesome in a uh, bad way for you, but it's quite fun because we all suffered so much trying to make cool stuff, you know? Anyway, so we're gonna do the next one now. <laughs> I promised I would do uh, Little Dikas as well. So I'll do that really quickly. Um, again, I owe, mm, I owe my poor mods uh, and poor friends. There we go, no underscore. I owe my poor friends, um, something because I, you know, ask them to make me CC sometimes and whatnot. This is Over the Rainbow Fitness. Um, <laughs> Over the Rainbow Fitness believes in gym spaces for everyone. Immerse yourself in a world of color, especially when the sun goes down and sweat your day away. <gasps> cool. And they're all green initiatives approved. So their locations give a new life's polluting and crumbling buildings. 
What a fun idea! Oh my god, 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 oh my No! We're fine! We're fine! Oh no! That was kind of scary, but it's fine. It's working. Game broken, game broken. Um, oh my goodness. We're all holding our breath, hoping it's not gonna break for real. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Here is the build. Let's make it nighttime so we can see the lights. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, I love this idea. I love the eco vibes. I love the lights. I love the pool. I love the shape. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, okay, so. Uh, when you first come in, this is kind of a good angle of the front. It looks like uh, you walk up, we got a sign, and then down the stairs, it takes you into the entryway. So we have to go down here um, into the entry. We have a really cool like check-in counter. Look at all the clutter and how it's like kind of an industrial building. Um, okay, and then over here we have the lockers. Uh, we've got some showers. Oh, this is so cool! This is so cool. And then you go upstairs. Uh, upstairs we have all the gym equipment. So we have like all of the weights, we've got this treadmills and stuff, and you can come out the door over here to get to the pool. What lights are these? Oh, the orb lamps from the wedding pack? I don't think I realized they changed color like that when you change the, I guess, maybe I just haven't looked at them. Cause that's so cool. I love, I love the pool, how it's got like the, I don't know, like the detail on the bottom and these diving boards and stuff. Um, we've got like some sports balls. Sports balls, there's some sports balls out there. Don't look at me, stop, stop. You can't judge me chat. It's been a long day. <laughs> there's some sports balls out there. Uh, sports on the floor and then upstairs. <laughs> There's kind of like spa vibes up here almost. How we have like, um, there's a little vending machine. Uh, we've got some of these really nice massage tables. I love this with the platforms to get up top where we have some yoga mats and stuff. I bet this was so much fun to build. I really like the idea of it being like an old building like industrial building converted into a, a place that you can use as a gym. I love the color scheme. I love the lights. Like this is really, really cool. I feel like you did a really good job with this. I'm really liking like this side too. I love how the sign looks in front of the window. I don't know. I just, I like that a lot. It's really good. I'm jealous. <laughs> it makes me feel like mine sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but it fits really well together. Uh, you should be you should be proud of yourself. Okay, chat, I'm warning you, so annoying. Ads are gonna play soon. I already snoozed it three times, so I can't snooze it again. It says, next snooze available in 35 minutes and nine seconds. So I can't snooze them. <sighs> but it's okay, because we'll pick the next one after this. So that's fine. <laughs> that is so totally fine. Everything is fine. We'll save the game while we wait. We'll fix everything. It's all good. We have nothing to worry about. I'm gonna save the game quickly. Um, and I'll make sure I pull everything up so that we have the next one ready to be picked. Um, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, maybe I'll drink some water too. <laughs> yeah, we, um, we've seen a lot of community lots today. I don't really build that many community lots, but it's kind of fun. Um, also, yeah, I comment on bills that I see off ca camera, Marisa. Um, usually with the shell challenges, we do like a tour. So we do the build stream, a tour stream, a build video, and a tour video. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a tour video for this. I didn't uh, think to put that in my upload schedule um, because Logitech isn't going to sponsor that, but I could still do it. Um, I just got like I had in my head, like I got to get this, this, and this done for the sponsor, but that I didn't think about the um, the tour video, so I could probably move some things around and do a tour video in the next couple weeks. Um, but usually we th do that separately. So the, this one is more like randomized on stream, the tours that we're picking. And then uh, the ones that we would do for the video, I would pick specifically, I'd pick like 10 or something for the video. Um, 
So I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, how much do I usually tour on stream? As many as we can. For the video, like 10 to 15, depending on how big they are <laughs> um, and how long it takes. Cause I don't want the video to be like two hours long, you know? <laughs> Um, I don't want the video to be like super, super long, but we try our best. Okay, so the next one that we're gonna do is CC the dog on the gallery. Um, and we can go over there and see what they have made. Um, it looks like we have the Aurora Modern House. Oh, this is so cool. They've got a murder pond as well. Um, I added the piranha pond at the front just for Simsy. <laughs> I have a terrible influence. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry, chat. I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, if you missed it, uh, Logitech is actually sponsoring today's stream and the shell just in general um, because there's a really cool promotion going on on Amazon right now where if you check out the uh, Logitech Aurora collection on Amazon, you get the Sims 4 Spa Day free if you buy the keyboard of the headset, which is pretty cool. So. If you haven't checked that out, there's a link in the chat. It's pretty cool. Um, I could spam that a couple times. Um, oh, my mod's got it. Thank you, Sears. <laughs> um, okay, here we have this adorable little build. I love the vibes of this with the blue. I always forget about what wallpaper is that? Oh, that's the From the Earth Itself one. I don't think I realized how much movement that blue swatch had. I really, really like that. I should use that more. It looks so pretty in the sun. I've only ever used the like darker colors. There's something about the blue that looks really good. I know Lil Simsy and her blue builds, but like, <laughs> I actually really like that. It looks really cool. Um, in the back, oh my gosh. <gasps> Wait, so they used a pool to fill in part of that hole in the back and then they used a roof over part of it too. That is so cool. I want to see the basement first. <laughs> so the basement, they have like a little uh, greenhouse vibe. They put these plants, look at that in front of the pool water. That looks so good. And then we have like a little living room and kind of a storage room down here in the basement. The storage room has a chess table. They know me so well. <laughs> I love that glass roof though, that's awesome. That's a really cool way of like blending it in and kind of turning it into a greenhouse because you don't really think of like the basement as being a greenhouse, you know? Um, so that's kind of a fun, I like that a lot. That's a cool way to do it. Um, anyway, anyway, um, when you come in here into the front of the house, uh, we've got kind of a big open uh, entryway. There's kind of some cute like little tables for your shoes. They used uh, the same things people have been doing with this side of the house. They put platforms in those weird bump outs and made it like a display. Um, and then we have this little dining room. I always forget about these windows. That looks so cool. It's kind of like a sunroom almost. Uh, and then we have the kitchen in the back here and it's got some really, really nice giant giant kitchen with like great counter space and everything and a little bathroom over here and then upstairs they also put the stairs kind of wrapping around that little pillar that i added a lot of people did that um a lot of people added in the little pillar um or put the well, i added the pillar they put the stairs around the pillar because it makes sense um and then upstairs we have a little ent like little entry i mean a little landing and we've got two bedrooms we have this one with an ensuite and then this little kids one this is great. I feel like so many of you had a way easier time with the floor plan than I did. I struggled so much with my floor plan. I think because I made a spa and like where I had put the stairs, like really split it in a way that I had a hard time fitting the kind of stuff that I wanted to. Like it just, it felt like there wasn't a lot of private rooms in mine. It was like all, I don't know, but I, this is really good. And I like the murder pond. It's really fun. <laughs> I'm so easily pleased. We have not seen enough creepy things today. We only saw Plancy's creepy room and I want more creepy. I was really hoping for creepy basements. And I've only seen one. <laughs> I was really hoping to see some scary and everyone's doing like beautiful builds. How could you all chat? We need to up the creepy. <laughs> okay, the next one. 
Um, the next one that we're going to do is, ah, I lost it. Oh no. Kitty Bitty 04. Oh, who said pick whoever's name is above mine. Oh my goodness. Um, above them is Lada Suvi on the gallery. Uh, their name is Vert's, uh, Vert Suka on the Twitch. I'm so sorry if I said it wrong. Let's pull up your, um, your gallery page so we can see it. Uh oh. If it'll work. Felt like you had too much space in your spot. And I feel like mine was too small. That's so funny how we all had the same space. And like half of us were like, it's too big. Half of us were like, it's too small. It's so interesting how, um, how different it is when we all have the same thing to work with, you know? Um, anyway, this is uh, the Simsy Shell House. Also kind of modern. This is so cute. Let's go take a look at it up close. Shall we? 30 by 20. Um, let's go place it and see what it looks like. I am ready. Oh my god, there's 915 requests. <laughs> oh chat, I'm never gonna be able to get to all of yours. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's so much worse than normal. <laughs> I think because this one was a little bit smaller, um, we maybe had more requests. Uh, but there's no way I can tour them all on stream. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It makes me feel so guilty. Um, but I'm glad that it seems like a lot of you did it and enjoyed it. That's really awesome. That's like really, really awesome. Um, so I'm so glad. Anyway, let's take a look at this house. Uh, I love the color scheme. I love this wallpaper. This one is new. Uh, they added this with the, with, well, it's not quite so new. I just always forget about it. So it's new to me. This is from the, um, I shouldn't paint it. It's from Get Famous. Um, there's a couple variants. There's a smaller one too. I need to use this more often as like a backsplash because this is like one of my favorite tiles and I always forget it exists. That's why I said it was new because I have like in my head like, us oh, that new thing I keep meaning to use. But Get Famous came out so long ago. <laughs> it's not even new anymore. Um, but anyway, when you actually walk into the house, oh, it's a lovely open floor plan. Okay. So when you actually walk into the house, uh, we have like a little entryway here. Uh, we got like some shoe space and a little table for our, our little clutter and stuff. Over here, we have a yellow kitchen. And do you know what? I have never thought to use the gold swatch on this as if it were yellow, because I always see it as like an ugly gold, but in here, it looks so good. I just, I picture that in the context of my normal builds and I think I don't like it. But when you tie it with like yellow and then try and make it into like a color, I think that looks so good. I've never used it like that. And I really like that. It looks really good there. I, I only ever use the default swatch of this. I like, I, I guess I always knew that it had the others. I just didn't like, yeah, it's been four years since, since, uh, Get Famous came out. I know, I don't like thinking about that. I made a video today where, I'm not gonna post it for a few weeks, but I filmed it today where um, I was ranking the stuff packs and I was sat here thinking like, oh yeah, this one just came out. The last stuff pack that we got was literally two years ago. The last time we got a stuff pack was in January of 2021. It's almost January, 2023. It did not just come out. It is very old now. It is two years old and that is upsetting. <laughs> I don't like to think about that. <laughs> Isn't that really weird? Yeah, no, I don't, I can't. And that was a good pack too. It's very sad. Anyway, um, I love, oops, I kicked my, sorry. I kicked my advent calendar. <laughs> um, I love this downstairs. I love this little living room. This is so cozy. Uh, we got a little bathroom right here and then they have through this door the staircase into the basement and the basement is like kind of a kid's room it's all messy and cluttered and i love the color scheme also i don't think i realized that we had this swatch on this item that is such a nice swatch of that like poster tapestry thing i need to like i need to go back through the high school year stuff and like really memorize what swatches we have because there's so many things that i keep forgetting to use like that looks so good it really does look so good oh god they have a little ensuite bathroom 
and then up upstairs it goes up into oh my gosh it's like a loft space for the primary bedroom they have a giant loft um, lots of pink very cozy vibes in here and they have a little ensuite they've got a balcony as well and then we have this big patio they turned the weird spot into a pool too which is a good way of using it um, this is really nice what a good use of the space great layout okay let's go to the next one um, I want to try and get through as many as I can <laughs> I'm so sorry um, let's try and do another one. Um, this one is gonna be holy underscore Marisa, uh, whose gallery name is Monty Dog 12 YT 5544. Okay. <laughs> copy paste that one. Oops. I gotta copy paste it. Let's go take a look. Have a good night, Mark. It was great to see you. Oh, newlyweds, newer home. Oh my gosh, look. They did like all of our shells. Spooky Simpsy shell, Simpsy fish, big mistake. This one is the one from this time. That makes me so happy. I love it when I see people have done my shells like a few times. <laughs> um, this is Newlywed's newer home. It's a 30 by 20 lot uh, and it's up in Tartosa. Tartosa is so pretty. It really is like so nice. Um, okay. I think it's this one, I think, because I built something on this lot recently, so I'm pretty sure, but I could be wrong. We'll see. Oh no, Marisa, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Different Marisa, I'm so sorry. Uh, this was your first shell, this is your second. Oh yeah, I mean, no, work. like, look, if you've done it once, that's a lot. <laughs> this is the right lot I was here. Um, it's just fun to see people that have obviously been around for a long time and have done them a lot, you know? Um, no, it doesn't say where it's located, Little Bird, but I, I recognize them for the most part. I build in The Sims a lot, um, so usually I can tell where they are and like what lot it is. Sometimes I'm wrong, um, but generally I can tell what lot it is, um, just based on looking at it. <laughs> um, in my defense, I do sim professionally. So, uh, but anyway, this is really cute, Marisa. I love this style of house. As we all know, I love this style of house so much. Um, so when you actually first walk in, we have some beautiful tile. I love all tile houses. I'm so weird about this because in real life, I'm like, ew, tile. And then in The Sims, I'm like, oh, tile. <laughs> I think it's just because I grew up in Florida where like all of our houses are just beige giant square tile. And the vibes are off, okay? It's just not cute. But like this, this looks like they could be handmade. This is cute tile. It's different. It isn't the same. It really depends on the tile. <laughs> in real life, eh. But it can be good in real life. Anyway, they made my horrible little square into a laundry nook as well. <laughs> um, they have this little living space back here. We got the dining room. It's all very open. And then we have this little kitchen over here off to the side. I love the stone backsplash. Um, love, 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 love. And then upstairs, we've got a little hallway with a cat tree. Uh, we got this little bathroom. The cat has their litter box. And then we have a little bedroom. And oh, look at that. Wait, the bedroom has this like platform behind it. And there's a big circle window. I love that. This is a nice bedroom. And then they have a little walk-in closet area. Oh, bright flag for the newlyweds. That's so cute. This whole idea was supposed to be like the newlyweds um, house. Obviously that's the title of it, but that's so cute. And then they have the basement as well, obviously. And when you come down here, uh, we've got like a little fireplace, trash can. The cat has a cat tree down here. And then they have a big pride flag and like a games room basically in the basement. I love the use of the basement as a games room. I feel like um, what most people have done, like what they've seen it as, is like maybe a second living room. Obviously in real life, people do that. They'll have like a games room or a living space or like a storage room in their basement. So we see a lot of that in the builds. Um, it's really fun. Also this door from the kit fits so well right here. I really like that. Yours was a secret spa for Santa. Huh. I mean, yeah, the guy works hard. He probably needs a spa day. You know who else needs a spa day? You, chat. We've got one more giveaway to go. <laughs> Let's open up the last giveaway. <laughs> Oh 
<laughs> if you could type the word Logitech in the chat for a chance to win the Sims 4 Spa Day. I tried. It was smooth, right? It was smooth. It just it just worked. Um, this is a giveaway for the Sims 4 Spa Day for PC and Mac. Um, I want to thank Logitech again for giving us so many codes and for sponsoring the stream and stuff. This has been really fun. I think that we've all really, really enjoyed this. And they literally gave us 50 giveaway codes. We have three left. These are our last three spa day codes. Um, and then we're done. <laughs> we have given away 50. That's so many. That's so cool. Um, I, I'm really excited about that. So, um, type the word Logitech in the chat for a chance to enter to win. All you gotta do is type it once. Everybody gets one entry. Um, if you enter the last one, enter this one again. It's a new one. I open it up new each time. Um, and then, uh, we'll draw the last three winners in a couple minutes here. And while we're doing that, I'll get the next name pulled up so that we are good to go. Um, and we'll try and get through at least a couple more. Um, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> I am ready. We have, again, three more PC and Mac codes for The Sims 4 Spa Day, and then I'm gonna have to message all the winners after I get off stream, uh, just to make it a little bit easier uh, for us to, to be able to do this. So, anyway. Um, let's start with the winners in like 10 seconds, yeah? Type Logitech one more time. <gasps> I didn't enter! I could, I could win! I want to win! Okay, it counted me. All right, ready? <laughs> we got three winners left. <laughs> Imagine if I win. Um, ooh, I knocked over my mini brand's advent calendar. Um, 10 seconds, ready? 10, nine, type the word Logitech, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Try and trend. The first winner is Nata Lily. Nata Lily, but it's like Nata L L I L I. I can't really read it because it's a lot of L's and I's, um, but you know who you are. <laughs> Natalie, congratulations, my friend. I hope that you enjoy uh, the Sims 4 spot. I'll send it to you after I get off stream. The second winner is That's Off Pudding. Oh my gosh, your profile picture is very fun. <laughs> I always love seeing your profile pictures because a lot of times I recognize people's names from chat, you know, but I've never seen their profile picture on Twitch because I don't click through to it. Um, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> and the last winner, the 50th code of the Sims 4 Spa Day is, ready? Three, two, one. JSAM1021. JSAM1021. That has been so fun. I love having this many codes. It makes me feel like Santa. Yeah, if it was me, I would have screamed. I would have shown you. I would have been like, guys, look. <laughs> I would have I would have been so excited. I should I draw one again? I don't have any more codes, but I could buy one. Oh, it's not me. Burgundy Nicole. <laughs> I'll buy you a code, Nicole. I'll, I'll buy you one and send it to you after stream. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the 51st one. <laughs> Uh, let me let me insert a row in in the uh, thingy so that I can do this. I'll I'll buy you a I'll buy you a code Nicole so I can send it to you. If it was me, that would have been so funny, but it wasn't me. Whatever, I'm fine. Rigged. <laughs> okay, okay. So the next one that we're gonna do, the next build we're gonna do is Doctor Scully JD um, on the gallery. Let's see it. <gasps> cool! It's also a spa! Yes! I love seeing people build spas. This one is also for Oasis Springs. I did not play test this, but it looks pretty and that's what matters. Bestie, I am with you. <laughs> I have been there and I am on your side. <laughs> Sounds about right to me. You're so valid. <laughs> um, okay. Let's go, um, let's go load it and see it. Who cares if it works as long as it's pretty? And it probably does still work. It probably is fine. I'll tell you if I think it's fine at the end. Okay, do you know what, honest? This is one of my favorite spas I've ever seen. Like genuinely one of my favorite spas I've ever seen. I really like how these windows look stacked. Like the wood accents looks really good. 
Are you kidding? I love the cactus. It, like, I don't know, the glass roof above this part. What a cool way to use that like weird empty space that I added. This like, this is so good. Oh, these are all yoga mats for the yoga class. That's cool. And they even have a hot tub. And this, wait! Oh my God. I have never thought to do that. This is the giant window that came with the kit. They put it like in my weird bump out and then put a platform above it. That is so cool. And then it looks like they put, yeah, they put a, a waterfall in front of it. That is really clever. That is really, really smart. Okay. Okay, so when you actually walk in, uh, it looks like you enter to like a waiting room and and like the reception area, obviously. <gasps> they made a custom reception desk! They even put like little towels in it! I had never considered that. These are the spa, or the um, spa day, snowy escape counters. That's so smart. Okay, and then we have like the little exit door to the <laughs> uh, to the backyard. We've got some bar space where you can buy things from the spa and like get your face mask and stuff. Um, over here is where you can get your nails done. And they even have like some stuff all set up for it. There's like magazines too. We got the locker room back here. Uh, and then we have like the, the bathroom and everything. And then upstairs, uh, you enter to where you can take your mud baths. Very beautiful. Um, and then we have like some spots for the massages over here. And then um, in the basement, the staircase is stacked. In the basement, we have the showers and the locker rooms, like some more bathroom space, which by the way, these cabinets are so good. And then we have like this. Oh, I didn't think about the shelf. That's great. Laundry bin. And then this is like the glass roof area. We have like a seating area and then the pool. I love, I love this. I love this. You are all so talented. It's so fun. I I find like anytime people are able to do a, a really good community lot, I'm like so impressed. I think because I personally struggle so much with community lots, it's really fun to see like cool ones that other people build. Um, okay, so the next one that we're gonna do, that was Dr. Scully JD on the gallery, by the way. Uh, if you missed the name. Um, the next one that we're gonna do, let me go uh, pick the next one. The next one is Aria Bear 18. If my gallery would load, I would show you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Christine, I can do yours after this. I got you. I got you. Don't worry, um, we'll do yours next. You deserve it. Their, their name on the gallery is Rosie Aria 18. Rosie Aria 18. Um. <laughs> All right, which one is ours? That's the question. <laughs> that is the question. Let me go, um, it might be marked as having CC. So we'll check it. Include custom content. Oh yeah, Aurora Vineyard? It's a wedding venue. It's their first ever shell challenge. Take a trip to Tartosa's Aurora Vineyard. Oh my God, and enjoy the breathtaking cliffside views. I've been typing cool on every single one. I probably shouldn't uh, stray from that. Oh, I didn't go to Manage Worlds yet. Oops, we'll go up and then place it. Did a wedding venue too, Carolyn? Oh, that's so fun. I love wedding venues. They're so pretty. Um, and then we'll probably after this do about a couple more. Um, and then we'll probably get off stream. Uh, but this has been really, really awesome chat. I really enjoy these, <laughs> these streams. They're so cool. Um, they're so fun, so. No, if you download a lot with CC, you don't get the CC. It just will uh, be like missing the items or it'll replace them with something, but I think it'll just be missing the items. So anyway, um, okay. This is Aria Bear's wedding venue. Oh my gosh. I am so excited. I love how we have the sign out front. 
we have like uh, this little sign that is like the seating arrangements. You know, we have the barrels, there's some landscaping. When you come around the back, back here we have the wedding setup. Imagine the screenshots. Okay, and look, they also layered in the pretty lights that we keep seeing from high school years. They layered those in to the pergola. Okay. Anyway, we have these beautiful seats out here. There's a like little bride, uh, like sign for the uh, the couple that's getting married. We have like the the table, the buffet table, the champagne bottles, dance floor. This little spot here has the piano. Um, over here, if you come onto the inside, in here we have like all the tables. Oh, it's set up like a restaurant. <gasps> it's set up like a restaurant. You could switch it to a restaurant if you wanted to. I bet it would work. That just excited me so much because it has like all the restaurant functionality. So you could, if you're not getting married here, you could set it up like a restaurant. That's so smart. They have the bathrooms. Upstairs, there's a bar. Oh, I don't think I've seen this swatch. Why have I not seen? Oh, the high school or the university one, I mean. Oh my gosh, the university one is great for this. There's so many good menu signs in this game. Huh. I gotta keep that sign in mind too. We have the bar up here. There's even like a little balcony with a chess table. <laughs> um, and then downstairs in the basement, look, because it's a vineyard. That is so, so clever. I'm so excited. They had to size these up so much. <laughs> uh, that is really, really cool. We have like all the wine bottles here. There's some seating. Come on, the wine cellar. That's amazing. I've never seen that in The Sims. And that's a great, what a cool idea. Cause like the restaurant and wedding venue is super functional, but also like the vineyard in, in Tartosa makes perfect sense. And like, I just love that. Um, Here's what it looks like at night with the pretty lights. Love, 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 love. Okay. I was gonna do Christine's, I promised that I would. Also, so annoying. We have two minutes and 33 seconds until ads start playing and I can't stop it. So we'll, we might get partway through Christine's before we get interrupted, but that's okay. Um, that is okay. How do you size stuff up on console? Harry, that's a great question. Does anybody in chat know? Cause I, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I've never played uh, Sims on console before. Um, okay, 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 okay. Um, pineapple lanai. There's nothing better than a delicious scoop of cold ice cream after a hot day on the beaches of Sulani. And pineapple lanai is the perfect place to indulge. This tropical restaurant is Sulani's best ice cream shop. And with plenty of outdoor seating, your Sims can enjoy the beautiful views of the island while they cool off with a cone. That's an old build. Oh, it's not it. Oh, it's not it. This is the wrong build. Sorry, it was how it was the first one, but I'm filtered wrong. Sorry, that's a great idea though. <laughs> that, was, that was a great concept. This is university housing. Like we talked about, like the university housing is being so, com I'm really embarrassed right now, by the way. Um, oh, that was an EA fave. Oh, did they favorite that one? Oh, no one of the comments were mean. I was trying to ignore it. I've gotten really used to seeing mean gallery comments on my own builds, but I felt bad that there was like people arguing in yours. I was like, wow, yikes. <laughs> but if it's an EA fave, it makes sense. Okay, this is uh, the Brightchester townhouse. This recently renovated townhouse is in a prime location in the heart of Brightchester. Unfortunately, the family who owns it blew the renovation budget out the window. Now they have to rent out their basement apartment to a university student while their two kids are forced to share a small bedroom. Oops. <laughs> I love that. Also ads are gonna play in 35 seconds. So we'll have to look at it after the ads which is very annoying, but I can't stop them because it's start, I can't snooze. I, I, I used up all my snoozes. Yeah, the internet really is amazing. I can't believe they argue in like gallery comments. It's wild. Like, do you hear yourself? Do you realize what you're doing right now? You're fighting about a Sims build. 
You're leaving hate comments about a, a Sims build. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> Take a second. Deep breath. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll read this as we'll I'll read this. We'll look at this as soon as the ads are over. And I think after that, we will probably do one more and then I'll get off stream. Yes, I think so. To me, that seems like a really good idea. Thank you all again so, so much uh, for all of your, your subs and bits and stuff today. I know that I've done a terrible job <laughs> of reading them, but I really, really appreciate it. It has been so kind of you. Um, we did do all the giveaways. Yeah, Minnie. I, uh, I spent them all. <laughs> um, we used them all up, unfortunately. So, your last shell challenge is one of your most downloaded builds, and one of the comments is just no. Really? People say a lot of nasty things about my builds. Um, and I feel like, you know, at least I'm used to it. But it's so mean when people put nasty things on, like, just random builds on the gallery. Like, imagine, and I'm sure many of you can imagine, you spent like four hours working on this house. You're so excited about it. You put it on the gallery, kind of half thinking nobody's gonna see it. And then somebody types something nasty? Why? Why? What do you gain from that? That's so mean. Somebody worked so hard on that. <laughs> They were so proud of it. They're, this is like a creative outlet. Exactly. We're all just like playing this game to like express creativity. You know, like. <sighs> anyway. Um, bad. <laughs> Be nice, chat. I know you're all nice, but <laughs> some people aren't. And it's not fair. Um, yeah, the ads are going to be over in like 10 seconds. Don't worry, chat. We're almost there. We are almost there. Don't worry. Also, I think I might stream tomorrow. I think I might stream tomorrow morning. Don't hold me to that, but I think I might stream tomorrow morning. I don't usually stream on Sundays, but what if I want to play a game? Maybe I will. I don't know. Maybe you'll see me. <laughs> uh, I might play some Animal Crossing or something. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, this is my, my dear friend and mod, Christine's build. I am obsessed with this. The white with this red brick on top. What brick is this? That's the vampire's brick in red. I love this shade of brick. I love this shade of brick, like, so much. That's so pretty. Here's around the back. Um, so when you first come come in, obviously we have like the main entrance. This is supposed to be a house with an apartment in the basement. Um, so when you walk up, we have like a little mailbox. When you come into the house, <gasps> whoa, we did blow our whole renovation budget in here, didn't we? We've got this little like coat rack over here, all cluttered up and so cute. Uh, we got some little paintings on the wall, thermostat, little fireplace, firewood. I always forget about this. Um, these are some nice like bricks, um, brick light things from the fitness stuff pack. Um, back here we've got a bathroom. I love the black and white, that's so good. Um, back here we have the dining and living room and this super nice kitchen. I love the open shelves. We have so much cute clutter stuff with the, with the open shelves, that's so fun. Um, we, for the open shelves now, I mean, I feel like when Snowy Escape came out, we didn't have as much, but now we have a bunch more good stuff, which is really fun. Um, and then Christine has also wrapped the stairs around my stupid pole in the middle. <laughs> uh, and upstairs, we've got a couple bedrooms. We have one little froggy bedroom. I love this. In the little froggy bedroom, um, we have this really beautiful, again, with the lights, and there's a bunch of decorations everywhere. I love the little kids' play mats and stuff. This is so cute. These high school year lights are like the theme of the shell today. We, we didn't see as many ponds or, or perishing as usual, but we saw a lot of, uh, well, we usually call it the three Ps. Parachutes. That's what I'll call it. It's, it's a light. It's like a canopy light, but pretty lights. That's better than parachute. That makes way more sense. 
That's a better three Ps. It's pretty lights. Okay, sorry. My bad. I'm really out of it right now. <laughs> Can you tell? And then we have this beautiful pink uh, primary bedroom. I love this like peachy tone. And they have a gold ensuite bathroom. So beautiful. Um, but then, then when you come out to the front again, if you go through this gate, you can get to the basement and there's like a basement apartment down here for a student to rent. Um, and they have like their own little outdoor space. They've got some gardening. Um, we've got a nice place for bubbles. <laughs> there's some storage, a trash can. And then they have in their apartment it looks like kind of a studio vibe. I love this. By the way, Christine, the like mint is really good. I like how they don't have a stove either. Cause like you're not supposed to have a stove with the university housing. So that's kind of fun. Um, I love this bottom floor apartment. I like genuinely love this. They've got a tiny bathroom even. This is so cool. I really like this kitchen a lot, like a lot, a lot. How do I get infinite simoleons? Oh, Marty, that's a great question. Um, when you go to build something from Manage Worlds, you have infinite money. Um, so when you come up here, and then if you like click on a lot that you wanna build on, and then you press the build icon from there, you've got infinite simoleons, because you don't have a sim there. You're just building it from Manage Worlds. Okay, we're doing one more. One more chat. <laughs> no pressure. Um, the last one that we're gonna do today is Twitch user only Mirage and their gallery is Lost Paradise. Um, and we shall see what they built. I am very, very excited about this. Um, let me set this up. Grab Lost Paradise. Modern Villa. They did a couple of my shelves too. Look at this one from last time. That's so cute. Anyway. Um. <laughs> I love this. Let's let's go. Um, let's go take a look. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, 30 by 20 lot. We've seen a lot of Oasis Springs builds today. A lot of Oasis Springs builds today, um, which is pretty fun. And don't worry, guys. I'm sorry if I didn't get a chance to see your build today on stream. Um, we can only do so many. There is literally 929 <laughs> requests. And that's not like let's not including the ones that I already did because it like marked them off once I do them. So 929 separate individuals have requested that I tour their build and I wasn't able to. I feel extremely bad every time I do shell challenges because it's so hard. I can't see them all on stream. You know, it's just not possible. Uh, I do go through a bunch off stream and comment on as many as I can. Um, I really do try so hard to comment on a lot of them. Um, there's only so many that we can do on stream, you know, uh, which kind of stinks, but I'm just one person. I know most of you understand, but I always feel really guilty because I just, I hate the idea of somebody being sad about it. You know, I just feel really guilty about that. Um, but really the main goal for this isn't like for me to see it. It's just because it's fun to build them, you know? So, um, hopefully that, <laughs> hopefully you all still had fun, uh, despite the fact. Now this one, is really cute, by the way. I love the roof line. I love this, like, with the solar panels, too. Um, I really like what they've done with the walls. It looks like they they use a lot of these custom pieces to make, like, kind of a custom wallpaper, and they put columns everywhere. I really like how that looks with all of the accents they've done. And then in the back, we have a huge pool. Look at how nice that is. And they also covered up their um, weird hole in the ground with this. <laughs> a bunch of people, it seems like, use these to cover up at least part of the hole in the ground, which makes sense, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, in the back, we have a shiny pond pool. Shiny pool, not pond. <laughs> Little seating area, some lounge chairs. I love this kind of tropical landscaping. And look, in live mode, they've got a bunch of fireflies. So these will be like VFX in game, which is kind of cute. Um, and then when you come inside, oh my gosh, I love the floor plan of this. Uh, when you come inside, you walk in and we have this amazing living room. I love the clutter they've used. I love these little cube shelves. So many people have used a lot of these cubes to make um, like custom decorations. Like that person earlier who used it to make shelving in the kitchen. It looks really good. I really, really like that. <laughs> um, they made a kind of custom TV stand basically. And then over here we've got a little office nook. Um, 
We also have a big bathroom down here, and then to the right we have one little bedroom. They used a lot of uh, Jesse's kit, I could see, and I I like that. The new kits are so good. <laughs> the clutter kit and the um, the pastel pop kit are so good. Also, this flooring, I didn't mention this, but this flooring is like my favorite floor in the game. I love Eco Lifestyles floors. I really, really love this wood floor. It's so good. Anyway, upstairs, upstairs, we've got a couple bedrooms. We have this little kid's room right here, so cute. I love this little nook for their toys. They have their own bathroom. And then we also have this primary bedroom, much bigger. They've got a balcony, super cute. And they have an ensuite bathroom. And then it looks like the kitchen is in the basement, which is really fun. Um, I haven't seen that done yet. Um, and they have it kind of a mint color scheme with like a kitchen dining combo and you can access that from inside. Um, and they've got the kitchen down here and they have like some outdoor seating right off the door, which is super cool. I really love this. Also, someone asked, is it pronounced live like a lot or, or a lot or live, like live or alive? I always say live mode. I've always said live mode, never live mode. But this is a very common debate amongst simmers. Is it live or is it live? Um, some people say live like your sims are living. Um, that's what I thought of it as, like there's build mode and then there's living mode. Um, some people say live because you like press play and it's live. Um, but it's it's really, or you're alive or whatever. Um, it really is a personal preference. They never, they never clarified it. Everyone just has a personal opinion, but I always just said live, so. Either way, you're right. There is no right or wrong. <laughs> um, everybody has a, their opinion. But anyway, I love this. Also, they put like that little, um, I can't see it, but they put like that little uh, holiday fruit cake in the microwave, like somebody has been heating something up. I think that's so cute. <laughs> they also have the really fancy uh, espresso machine. Also, I like how um, the oven is blending into the cabinets. You know how we don't have any dishwasher that matches the cabinets? We do have an oven. <laughs> Some people have like those built-in dishwashers that are like made to match the cabinet. I like how the oven does. That's cool. Anyway, this is really good build. I love the landscaping. I love this. I just, I love the basement. Everybody did such cool things with the basement. I've really, really enjoyed seeing all your shell builds today. Um, this has just been awesome. So, um, it looks like most people say live like living, but I don't know if that's skewed because I just said it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure if I skewed the results, but <laughs> I may have. Oh, wow, look at how that looks from build mode. <laughs> okay, well, chat, this has just been awesome. I hope that you really enjoyed, um, you really enjoyed today. I want to thank Logitech again for sponsoring today's stream. I put a link in the chat just then to that Aurora collection one more time, but if you didn't know, um, this headset that I have, this is the Logitech Aurora one. Um, and and um, if you buy the keyboard or the headset, you actually get Spotty for free on Amazon right now. Um, they've got like a promotion with The Sims going on. It looks really beautiful. Like the vibes are very good on, on their, um, their shop page here. I really just love the branding they've done. The keyboard comes with a cloud rest. Anyway, they're appealing to the right audience. Let's just say that. Okay. <laughs> I really love them. Logitech has been really good to me just in general. I've really appreciated working with them. This, this stream, this, like this whole, uh, shell challenge thing has been so cool. Um, they reached out and they were like, hey, we have this idea. We want to do a challenge in The Sims. We want to do a shell challenge. And they were like, when they pitched it, they like knew how it worked. They were like, here's what we'll do. We'll do a build stream and a tour stream. And like they knew, they understood like how we do it. And I just, there's something really cool to be said of brands that like, I don't know, like really understand who they're working with and like what, what the community does. It feel, I feel like it makes for the most like natural of integration and it's just really cool. So I really appreciate that. Um, they also give us a lot of giveaway stuff, um, obviously for chat and for our charity stream. Like they've just been great to work with. So um, I really appreciate you Logitech. Thank you. <laughs> this has been so cool. Um, and I think on that note, I'm gonna reject all of your points. So you'll all get your, uh, your points back. Don't worry chat. Um, and, and we will do another shell challenge soon. I love these. They're so fun. <laughs> um, and I love these tour streams. It's just such good vibes to like hang out and, and like gush over our friends builds. You know, it's just fun to like 
see people's ideas and see how creative the community is. It, it's a really fun, um, like cool community building experience, I think, to do the shell tours. Because we get to see like everybody has such different takes on the shell. Like obviously a lot of us did spas on purpose because of the spa day thing, but um, even a lot of us that did spas, we had such different vibes of them. And like, you know, I did a spa, but you did a karaoke bar. And I just, I think it's so cool how we all took this same box and made it into so many cool things. So anyway, you're all very talented and it was very fun to see your builds. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to see all of them. Obviously there was a lot. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Um, and with that, uh, I think I would like to go find someone to raid um, so that we can go hang out maybe with someone else playing some Sims tonight. How about that? Um, let's go see who all is live. Maybe we could go pop over to, oh, do you know what? My friend Shella is live right now. I know I read Shella all the time, but <laughs> my friend Shella is live right now. Oh my gosh, I think she made a new shell challenge. I was just gonna say because we toured Shella's build and a lot of you liked it, but Shella uh, is doing a shell challenge today. So we love shells, this is fun. Okay, this is good actually. We'll go say hi to her. Um, also, someone asked if I'll post this whole stream to YouTube. Lindsay, I always do. I post all of my VODs to YouTube on my second channel, More Simsy. I post all of my streams there. Um, you can also watch this stream back on Twitch today, um, if you want. You can watch today's stream right now from the beginning. No, I'm, already, I'm still live and you can already watch it back. Um, or you can go uh, and you can watch it from the beginning now or I'll post it on YouTube in a few days. Um, so they'll all be there. And then everybody who won the giveaways, um, I'm gonna message you right now with your codes so that you can get them. Um, like after I press raid now, I'm gonna message the winners. Um, and uh, I will catch you all in a little bit, okay? Thank you for hanging out. I'll see you later. Have a great rest of your night, okay? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> and stop streaming.